Recording in progress. Hey, everybody. Wendy, you getting excited? Okay. Heather and I made, we went shopping at Marshall's today and got treats. <laughs> treats? Like Don't Halloween you. treats to take to Psycon? Are you, are you talking about yeah. Psycon? You bought Here? treats? Yeah. You're driving oh. though, right? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we're also doing another thing. We, um, there's this uh, email newsletter. Um, and it goes like, it'll have the activities in different neighborhoods. And one mm. of them had um, an announce, or one of the activities they announced was a uh, Halloween, um, a whole month of Halloween stuff at the Natural History Museum. So tomorrow I'm gonna, we're gonna post um, on the skeptic meetup. Oh, for LA. Okay, local skeptics. Um, that that we're gonna uh go on costume to the museum and and they're gonna have and they call it oh um some what is it it's something about bones what day did you decide you're gonna go on yeah um do you, the do you dress as a skeptic <laughs> october yeah. as long as as long as we're talking about halloween there's a uh something that's been on the uh the front lawn of a house not terribly far from where I live is about a a uh, at least three meter tall human skeleton <laughs> mm. and uh, Spooky. basically for uh, basically for Halloween but uh, uh, but come December then it, it, it gets a, a Santa hat and <laughs> Oh. Uh, there's houses in our neighborhood that are like that too this is the uh, announcement and which is hard to read there but it's it'll be on the, read here. <laughs> on the, yeah well it, uh, it says um sunday oh excuse me i said the wrong date sunday october 15th from 6 to 8 p.m and at 5 30 uh heather and i are gonna uh be waiting in front of the museum just like that <laughs> oh, so much fun. Can't see the picture. It's too small. Well, I don't know who's gonna show up. Oh yeah, they, well, put it all, gonna... I'll share it all over my Facebook page. So as soon as you get that meetup set up, I'll do that. That'll be super duper fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. And it's I'll... sort of like it's all the same stuff we're gonna be wearing at SciCon, all the hippie stuff. That is just <laughs> so silly and so much fun to think about. I gotta get my my sixty stuff down. And make sure it fits me because I don't know about that. Okay, so are you guys ready? This Again. is game number. Can you freaking believe it? It is game number a hundred and eighty two. Yeah. September twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. So we have five teams. I count five, and I know there's five because I got five fingers in my hand, and I know that the, if I had a six finger in my hand, then we would have six teams. So we only have five. Isn't that convenient how it works out like that? Uh, we have some interesting teams, interesting team names coming up, I think. And the first team. So if you were Frodo, it would be, it, it would be four teams. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, ben, Jordan, Jamie, Jane, Kevin, Wendy. What is your team name? Put it in the chat, too. Is a term for president like Trump, but hopefully not a second one. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Like that. Yeah. That's, that is excellent. Nice. <laughs> that's clever. That's okay. nice. Brian, Carl, Romero. Is Faith going to show up? Oh, there she is. Ron and Troy. What you got? Social trivia, full frontal nerdity, except Carl. <laughs> except Carl? Except Carl. Oh, because he only gets side yep. nerdity. <laughs> side nerdity. <laughs> Oh, good, good. Alan, Gail, Janine, Mike, and Peggy. <laughs> Let me get it pasted in. You're laughing already. That's yeah. good. No, no smoke, no gun, just a backfiring clown car. And uh, 
what Jeffries said at the uh, impeachment hearings today, that there was was no smoke, not even a gun. There was nothing. <laughs> There was impeachment uh, hearings today. Yeah, huh? firing huh? Tom Card. Yeah, they had impeachment hearings today, and what? I think the guy, one of their experts, came in and said, "Oh, Biden impeachment." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Biden said, impeachment. Oh, there's yeah. not really anything here. <laughs> yeah, there's no evidence. <laughs> Nothing here to impeach him on, but maybe the guy that they it. brought in. <laughs> okay, Adrian, Carolyn, Cindy, Cat, Bill, mm. and guess yeah. what? Karen's on your team, but you don't know it yet. Well, Karen, you're going to have fun with this. So yeah. we we kind of combined, we had a lot of thoughts and we had a lot of fun and a lot of laughing. Oh, we... And so we combined Cassidy Hutchinson's book Enough with our embarrassment from Canada regarding our parliament honoring a Ukrainian vet who fought on the side of the Nazis in front oh, of the yeah. president of Ukraine and the Manhattan real estate for sale soon. So our <laughs> team name is enough embarrassed canadians and the golden commode oh is that, is that what we're <laughs> lawrence and donald was just talking at the msnbc's like what are they going to yeah. need trump tower when the name comes down the golden commode yeah that's good that's good i hadn't heard that okay that last... was a true team effort that was good jim kyle lee rob and deborah well, we were um, thinking about a bunch of things, and Kyle came up with something. We were wondering who was going to when who's going to buy Trump Tower when he loses it. Would you prefer Musk Tower? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't give yeah. him any ideas, right? Yeah. yeah well, really? if he, yeah, well, if he, uh, uh, well, maybe he could put it into orbit. They could call it Musk <laughs> Stick. <laughs> you got to give it to the pun. Oh, we got it. Okay, all right. So here's what we got tonight. Mark's not here right now. He's at a Spanish, uh, uh, Mexican cooking class after his magic lesson today. So he can't judge right now who's going to be the winner. So far, he's batting zero. <laughs> all right. So here's what we got. There's a term for a president like Trump, but hopefully not a second one. Versus <laughs> full frontal nerdity, except Carl. Of That's good versus no smoke no gun just a backfiring clown car versus enough embarrassed canadians in the golden commode versus would you prefer musk tower very good very good very clever you guys have come a long way i'm so proud of you you're getting so much better it's only beam 182 you're starting to all get together and come up with something clever i like this kind of stuff so we have five people who oddly enough we have five people who are running Trivia, trivia games tonight. Isn't that interesting how that works out? Five teams and five people running the trivia. And the five people are here, which is really interesting. Um, <laughs> keep in mind, next week I have no one yet. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Jamie is going to lead off all the way over there from Friday. He's in Friday World. Friday. Uh, every time Jamie appears on the screen, I feel to myself, We've survived another day. Uh, <laughs> and Carl, yeah. Carl, from what I understand, um, <clears throat> so they say is his name, uh, Carl with a K. Um, Peggy is taking over for for uh, Robin. Isn't that sweet of Peggy to just, uh, you know, get Peggy's the boss and and Robin's the employee and the employee talked the boss into taking the isn't that great? She's a, she's a pinch hitter. Team <clears throat> effort. I love it. And then number four is all the way in Canada land. So they say it exists. I'm not sure. Cat's here. Jim's here. So there's been a few. And then <laughs> Rob has got the bonus tonight. I don't think he's done a bonus in a while. Have you, Rob? I don't think so. Rob is looking very frozen. Yes. Well, his mic's off. <laughs> You're in the headlights. Karen hasn't shown up yet either. She's here, but she isn't here. She's probably, I don't know, she's probably she probably hogtied Ron DeSantis and brought him home or something in this. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> should do that. Still bearing the body. <laughs> <laughs> so we're joking, people. YouTube, we're joking. Wait a minute. Can we oh, talk no, about somebody? Yeah. There's a chance. Nothing happened last time when we talked about somebody. So, you know, I'm just, it's getting there. Okay. We can keep trying. 
Yeah. So Jamie, guess what? You are up and your powers are with you. Have the power already. What what a amazing how this works out like this. Like I actually okay. done this a few times. <laughs> okay. I might need your help, like usual. Okay, today's category. Okay, the category is some places I visited that suffered disasters, either natural or man-made. Okay, that should be good. So um, our our uh, troll buster tonight is Lee. So Lee, can you put everybody in, um, you know, countdown to whatever you count down to and, and, and mute us all. Warn Jamie that he has, he will be muted in a minute. And Okay. So Lee's going to do that. Okay. Figure out how to do it, yeah. You were supposed to be practicing. <laughs> I have no idea. Somebody tell them. Participants and mute all. At the bottom. I'm looking at the bottom one now. Participants? The ones with the, with the, with the little with Fisher little Price figures. One, one person at a time, I can't, yeah. Participants at the bottom, click yeah. on the up arrow and should have mutate all. The little carrot. All I get is invite or copy invite link. He doesn't oh, okay, so click on that. participants. Don't click on the carrot. That's all. And then a little pop-up box will come up. See that? Oh, it looks like you didn't give them the power. Bingo, got it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, everyone. All well, set. So these are places which I visited that suffered disasters. So, so are you like the Angela Lansbury of of disasters? <laughs> probably I guess you shouldn't. The murders happen where you go, and you probably shouldn't go. It's. Yeah, I guess you'll find out in a few minutes. Mm. <laughs> okay, number one. This historic city's main square, Jama El Fana, features snake charmers, hat tassel spinners, and stalls selling dates, olives, escargot, and other delicacies. This famous minaret de la Catubia and other historic sites suffered severe damage from a recent devastating earthquake. Name the city. Okay. Number two. This fascinating capital city is home to Durbar Square, Swayamabu, Budahanat Stupa, and Pachtapanat Temple. Wall-mounted Buddhist prayer wheels along its streets are spun as you walk by them. A month after our visit, which was April in 2015, a devastating 7.8 earthquake destroyed many of these cities' historic sites. Name the city. Number three. This capital city has experienced a multitude of devastating volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Driving through the nearby mountain range involves carefully navigating through vast fields of volcanic ash. It is located near the beautiful seaport city of Valparaiso. Name this capital city. Wait, did you just read? What? Okay, never mind. Okay. Oops, hold on. Number four. We visited this beautiful country twice in 2017 and 2018. It's famous for its extensive tea plantations and Sigiara Towering Rock a Fortress. In 2004, over 30,000 of its citizens were killed by a tsunami. In 2019, Christian churches and various hotels were attacked by ISIS terrorists, killing 269 people. Name this country. Number five. 
Number five. We spent considerable time exploring Burma in 2018. Its temples, landscapes, people, and cuisine are fascinating. We relaxed along a quiet, vast street stretch of beautiful white sandy beach in northwest Rakhine State, not far from the ongoing genocide that's occurring against the local Rohingya population by the Myanmar military. Many Rohingya people are fleeing Burma to this neighboring country, now having the world's largest refugee camp named this country. Okay, number six. Oops, hold on. One second, I have it here. Okay, number six. In early 2020, we were visiting Qatar with plans to visit to this nearby historic Middle Eastern nation. Unfortunately, COVID hit, forcing us to return quickly back to Thailand before its borders were sealed. A few months later, this nation's capital city experienced immense destruction in the area popular with Western tourists caused by the explosion of 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate, which was improperly stored at its port. 218 people were killed 7,000 injured, and 300,000 people were left homeless. It caused over $15 billion in property damage. Name this Middle Eastern country's capital city. Remind me not to invite you for a visit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> Okay, number seven. For years, we were hesitant to visit the country, this country, due to the 1985 Larnaca Yacht killings perpetrated by Palestinians who were, target, who were targeting Israeli and Jewish tourists. In 2014, we finally spent a few weeks touring this amazing country and almost considered retiring to Kyrenia, a seaside city located in its northern region, named this country. Okay, number eight. In 2015, we traveled to this seldom visited nation and found its people, cuisine, historic sites, cities, and beaches to be wonderful. A year later, US government officials stationed there started to complain of ear pain and ringing, dizziness, nausea, memory loss, and balance issues. The cause of these ailments has still not been identified. Name this country. Number nine. In December 2019, we were visiting the northern part of this country when the nearby Wakari volcano exploded, killing 22 tourists who were on a hiking expedition named this country. And number 10. In 1986, we were living in Israel alongside many Romanian refugees who fled its disastrous totalitarian regime. As holders of US passports, we were asked by Romanian friends if we would travel to Bucharest to smuggle food and medicines to their starving ill parents who remained in the country. We did just that, they experienced the most horrible, repressive society ever. We witnessed constant mass surveillance and abuse by the secret police over the population. Mass starvation with hundreds of people silently standing in the snow waiting for food. Little or no electricity or fuel, huge white avenues devoid of any cars, totally empty grocery shelves, currency having nearly no value and experienced theft by police and citizens alike. The corrupt communist leader 
responsible for this catastrophe was finally executed by firing squad, along with his wife, Elena, in 1989. His name was blank blank. And to get the point, it must be spelled properly. Wow, this is depressing, Jamie. Wow, that's <laughs> that is <hard. laughs> like, Your tears thinking about these things. Oh my I'm going to ask for 10 names in the bonus, and now I'm going to ask everyone to spell them all correctly. Yes, that's a great <laughs> idea, Rob. All right, so Jamie, do you know how, uh, do you want to send yeah, us to our rooms? Do you want to do it or do you want to have Lee do it? I think Lee will have to do it. I don't think because of my iPad, I don't know if I have the capability. Do you think, can you see the other rooms? Am I going to have to fling you to rooms or can you move? I can move myself. Okay. Um, right. But I'm not able to go and have any other control. The iPad is very limited. Okay. <laughs> send us to our rooms, please. I'm sorry, I was making notes. Trying to... Go to breakout rooms. At the very bottom, it says open all rooms. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Thank you. You're in team one. <clears throat> and that's where I'm going. All right. Thank you, Ben. Is that you put that up? Yes. Everybody oh. can see that okay? Yeah. That looks that's good. Okay. okay. Was number one a city in Turkey? Didn't they have a recent? Oh, I was thinking. Or was there something more? Uh, a lot of this was familiar, but to remember for me to remember names other than question nine, um, question eight, it's the only one I know. And Jamie, oh, yeah. I, 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 predict, I predict Jamie oh. that you're gonna that Rob Palmer is gonna be all over your butt for questioning. <laughs> yeah, I thought of that. <laughs> So what are we thinking for number one? Uh, well, I don't know. I was thinking of Morocco, but what, you were thinking Turkey. I, I was thinking because he said it just, did he say it just now happened? No. no. Well, it said severe damage from a recent devastating earthquake. Recent, and, but recent. Is, spinners. Isn't that like uh, Monaco or, you know, the fezzes? Uh, be I think you're thinking of Morocco, but no, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Well, do we want to go with Morocco? I was going to say, I wrote down, I wrote down Marrakesh, but I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. If you think it's Marrakesh Express. Yeah. <laughs> Marrakesh for number one. Yeah. But I, I, Marrakesh. What? How do you spell it? I don't know. I mean, yeah. M-E-R-A. K E S H. Uh, no, that's I know that's wrong. Works for me. No, uh, writing. Well, I don't know though. If you think it's Turkey, um, I just know they had a recent earthquake, yeah. but I don't know if that meets up with the rest of. I the... saw a lot of videos whenever the Turkey earthquake happened, but it's been a little while. So. Yeah, I don't know how long ago it was, and I don't know if. I don't know. Wasn't it last but We would year? need to come up with the name of the city too. And it's I don't been a few months. I'm pretty sure it happened like early summer, but that could still be considered recent because there aren't that many major earthquakes. The yeah. one that just that happened, happened in Morocco, it, I think it killed like 2,500 people or more. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should move on so we don't waste all of our time on question one. Uh, Susan, didn't you say you knew question eight? Yeah, that's it's Cuba. Okay. Havana, Havana, Cuba. And this one, we just need the country. Okay. Yeah, so that's the only one you know. Moving back to number two. Buddhist prayer wheels. 2015 earthquake. 8.7.8 is massive. Yeah, that's pretty Unless big. Unless it just leveled that place. Mm. And is it's it a Africa? capital city. No, it can't be Africa. Where is yeah. that? Is that Indonesia? Could be. Yeah. 
What's the capital of Indonesia? <laughs> Name a city know. in Indonesia. What is a large city in Indonesia? Put it on there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Jordan, you know? No. You're most recent in school. You're supposed to know these things. Yeah. I'm in U.S. history right now. Okay? I'm sorry, but you've looked at a map more recently than I have. <laughs> okay. Not in Indonesia. Uh, Anybody know number three? Capital city has experienced a multitude of devastating volcanic eruptions. Valparaiso. I think I got a globe. I know. Valparaiso. Where is yeah, that? But you got to position the the globe so that it's look. You can look at it in a certain way because you can't touch and move the globe for trivia. It's only if you can look at it. You can't spin it. Nope. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's cheating if you if you spin the globe. Wait, what it's if a, I what if I place a fan pointing at the globe and it just has a spin of its own? <laughs> oh boy, you're bad, Ben. Um. Valparaiso, where is that? I don't know. All I know is we're going to do terrible in this round, apparently. Okay. There was well, actually there's another one I know. I think. Okay. Um, it's number nine. I think is New Zealand. That's what I wrote down too. Oh, but I thought it was pretty... the White Island or White something. Oh, yeah. The and yeah, there you go. All right, uh, going back, what were we on? Well, three and yeah, we four, got two, three or four, none of which we know. Okay, so uh, oh wait, we didn't go to four yet. This is the we were uh... okay. So this is the one they did that movie on, right? Uh, oh, that movie was it, that was in Indonesia. Uh, the the tsunami was in Indonesia, right? Oh, all okay. right. I've that. seen several and movies I, about that. That was fascinating. And that was in that was question uh, 2019. Two. Jane? Well, I would have thought that it was a little earlier than that, but maybe it was 2019. I would no, have thought it was 20, earlier than 20, that. No, yeah. No, this is they visited. This is all uh, not information that's not pertinent to the question. Wait, wait, wait. Right. What is she saying about but the tsunami? Because that and, was oh, when was the tsunami? It's that was cool. 2004 was the tsunami. Oh, yeah, wait. I would say oh Indo yes, thank you. 2004 was the tsunami. Indonesia. 2019 was when it was attacked by ISIS. Does I would that say fit? Indonesia. Oh, it does say tsunami. Indonesia was attacked by ISIS. I, 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 I don't know moving. about that. I would say there was a there was a major that was a there was a huge tsunami in Indonesia. That was probably around 2004 ish, 2004. sounds right. But okay. the but the but the people being murdered, that was in that movie. It's called it's about a hotel and it's in Africa. Hmm. Oh, are you thinking hotel about Rwanda? This? Are you thinking yeah, of Rwanda? This? She's in the yeah, that's no that isn't that Rwanda, isn't that where the, the people where the people were killed by ISIS? No, I don't think they were killing people in Indonesia. No, that was the Tutsis and the Hutus that were killing each other in Rwanda. So were there ISIS people terrorists in Indonesia? Because I don't remember anything about that. There were well, and, and are there ISIS killed people in India? Uh, I think I thought it was somewhere in Africa. Well, See, you know, I, I never been anywhere. Talking... Really. We were talking about Japan earlier because they get a lot of tsunamis. But I don't know. Is there a it hasn't been that big, big of a tsunami Christian in Japan population in, in China or in uh, Japan? I mean, uh, I don't think it's Japan. I think we would remember that 2004 over 30 percent. I think that that question number four is on the coast of Africa facing indonesia facing that area and i think it was what's one of those countries right there on the coast you know which one i'm talking about the one that's uh somalia and uh, what's up there what's on the coast there um, in the north on the yeah on kind the, of on the north or, or on the, on the northeast you're thinking yeah you know that because that's where the tsunami came in and just devastated that place it was um 
Okay, I can't remember. Um, we need to move on, otherwise we're never going to get these questions done. Yeah, I know. A few minutes later, Nation's Capital. I have a guess for oh. number five. Okay. Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yes. That's that's good. I heard it. Yeah, it was awful. Is it, well, uh, the number six. We yeah. remember this. Gosh, it was all over the news, and somebody was getting married at the time, and the bombs. You know it, and it was just you saw the bride and groom that were being filmed, and then all of a sudden the thing exploded, and it was where. Very. When do you remember this? I'm reading it. In early 2020. That's a lot of emotion. I remember, it, but I don't remember the details. Let, let's think of a play, a, a Middle Eastern country that was popular with Western tourists in uh oh my gosh if one and of it's says, something I don't know it. in 2020 gonna be, it's going to be something close enough to the water because uh the explosion was at near a port you guys don't remember this it was incredible because they didn't know what blew it up at first they didn't yeah know what i vaguely remember i just have no where was that i've seen the video of it but i don't know what city it was in it was it was, I remember watching many videos and, and like I said, people were like, it was during the day. So they were filming. Yeah. Things. They were filming outside the window and all of a sudden it blew up even bigger and bigger than they thought. Mm -hmm. Wow. I remember a wedding going on in the white and she's all dressed up and she's want, you know, and the, and the, all of a sudden exploded. Oh, wow. And then she's, oh, it's awful, but it was a thing. Dang it, dang it, dang it. If you knew, if you said the name, I'd go, yeah, that's it. And anyone, this number seven. Anyone know where oh, the I have a guess for number seven. Uh, I, I have a guess for seven. Um, I was gonna say either Greece or Cyprus. Cyprus I remember this um like this event. Um the oh no. I was thinking of a different yacht killing. I was thinking of the uh, the cruise ship, the Achille Laurel. Oh. But, um, but anyway, I was thinking of either I Greece can't. or Cyprus. It's wherever Ky Kyrenia is. You know, I That's think I can remember Jamie talking about this, about a place that, you know, because he's traveled so much that maybe, I remember him talking about a place he was thinking about. But then again, he could have said lots of places he's thought about settling in. Um, could it have been Syria? Talking about my grandfather was at the molasses in Boston. Molasses. I was thinking of, I, I, I realized I was thinking of Greece because I was thinking of the Achille Laurel, which I think was a Greek cruise ship i'm not sure they were going to greece so i so i was thinking of greece or 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 cyprus or cyprus um anyway that kyrenia sounds like greek or i'm or fine cyprus. Never, but I'm put greece down we, it's a guess yeah, that we greece don't better no one else has a better guess i'm i'm leaning more towards um cyprus or uh syria but I don't know. Okay, 10. What's 10? We got eight and nine. Oh, I know the name. I don't know how to spell it. It's no. Ceausescu. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, I remember that. I remember it like it was yesterday. Spelling, I hope I remember the name spelling right. should never be a requirement. But I uh, hope I, I I don't know. I hope I remember the name right. Maybe I'm comp you know how you remember things and then you find yeah. out later that it's like completely wrong what you remember. We'll try no. it. Try it, Jane, and we'll try Oh, it. I don't know the spelling at all. We'll, we'll say it again and let Ben try to figure it out. Oh. Ceausescu. Ceausescu. I, if I hope I remember then that this is the correct memory, the correct That's only one name though. 
Yeah, it's uh, I was I was saying Chowchescu. Two words. No, one word. Oh, that's that's the surname. But the answer is two words. Right. We need the first. Oh. One. George His name was oh he wants he wants the first name also. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let me think. Probably Vladimir. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's. I think it he is. was Romanian. I think or, it's Vladimir oh. Ceausescu. Okay. I think. That sounds right. Okay, Wendy, you're the better speller. Can you help us with that last name? It's not Chow. It's Chow. Like, but it's oh. not Chow like uh, an Asian sounding Chow. It's Chow like a like a, a Slavic sounding Chow like. I don't know. How is that spelled? Uh, how would that be spelled? Chow. C H A I, maybe? Chai. I don't know. You ready, Jamie? Okay, yeah. Can someone start the timer? Yeah. That just looks like chai, chai tea to me. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to spell it right. I go, don't go back up to the other answers. What are we missing? Well, we want to talk about that Greece versus Cyprus versus. I, I think we got to at least, at least put something down for two and. Right. And three. And six. Oh. Mm -hmm. Six is really bothering me because it was. So <laughs> Number three is Chile. What's the capital of Chile? Oh. Chile. Um, gosh, I bet if somebody says it, we'll all know. Chile. Santiago or? Santiago okay. is a place. Is that in Chile? Chile? I think so. No idea. It's better than nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Or is it? I don't know anybody. Uh, it's in Puerto Rico. It's a, it's a word, Jane. It's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Six, and we still need two. All right. This is the Middle Eastern country's capital city. Uh, it's a Middle Eastern country that was popular with Western tourists around 2020. Jordan, an answer? What, Kevin? Jordan. No. Jordan? Look for a country or a city. We're looking for a capital city. A city, capital oh. city. And it's something that uh, has a port, so it's got water. Damn it. Um, okay, we're out of time. Good job, everybody. That was a good effort. <laughs> Our Jamie. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> but, that was, but it's interesting because it's interesting. I like I like these categories. Like you know, Mike Wolf used to do these with um, you know, something personal, but uh -huh. figure it out, figure outable. I like that because I get to know you guys a little bit better. Oh, and, be I, and I've learned that I don't think I want to travel with you, Jamie. <laughs> 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 I don't think I will be traveling. Well, they never hit. They never happen when he's there. So just don't let him no. visit you. Then you stay there and he leaves. But, That's oh, the problem. But yeah, he so could repeat days. with ones that didn't have disasters. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a small Unless list. Unless there aren't any. <laughs> so we take you a second you. bite at the apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. No, uh, number one. Um, this historic city that has the Jamal Fana as the main square. The earthquake just happened, what, two weeks ago? Okay. Very, very recent. This was on Marrakesh, Morocco. Okay. Marrakesh, and our older Morocco. brother okay. is going there in two weeks. Oh, you have another, another Steiner? There's another yeah, Steiner? Yeah. yeah. The wow. very old Steiner as opposed to the old Steiner. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot of this, a, lot, a lot of the city was destroyed. The city walls. It's, it's the most fascinating city by far. Yeah. And um, the complexity of it, the old city is all these little tiny alleyways which you just get lost really easily. And kids make a living. They, they leave school, these small children, they go to tourists. 
and they guide tourists to the old to the city. They get them lost intentionally. Then they ask for money to get you back. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but a lot of those alleyways were um, decimated. We saw pictures. We couldn't mm. believe it's all in ruins. But okay, number two. Um, Are you gonna put the answers capital in the city? chat after or during? Yeah, I will. Okay, afterwards. But number one was Marrakesh. Number two, it's the um, area where, as you walk around the streets, there are these um, prayer wheels, Buddhist prayer wheels. You spin with your hands. So everywhere you go, you spin all these prayer wheels. And beautiful, beautiful city. But um, right after we went there, it was absolutely destroyed with this huge earthquake. And that was Kathmandu, Nepal. Oh, Kathmandu. Oh. Okay. okay, so we guessed right between the couple of <laughs> options we had. Beautiful area. Really, really beautiful. Number three. Um, oh, this is the city where um, it's very close to the seaport of Valparaiso. It's in Chile. And number three is Santiago, Chile. Oh, I am James. James, what the heck? <laughs> Good job. Santiago is a beautiful it city. Came but out of, new. It came out of something, some bit of memory <laughs> you had somewhere where I could not think of a single place in Chile. And she said, Santiago? I said, yeah, I think yes, that's in Chile. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's better than it's nothing, right? And it was worth a point. Sh that was great, Jane. Good job. Great. Um, Santiago is beautiful, but it's it's very new. All the buildings are brand new because they have so many earthquakes. They keep rebuilding the city over and over and over. So there's nothing old in Santiago. It's all new. I've I've heard that they that, that they're now the experts in building earthquake proof buildings. Because they, they, they must. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's a brand new city. Everything is it's a beautiful city. A uh, number four, um, the hint that I gave, it has the world's most extensive tea plantations, which the British took advantage of. Uh -huh. um, number four is um, Sri Lanka or Ceylon. Ceylon tea. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that makes sense. That's where Lipton, the Lipton company was based in Ceylon. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sri Lanka. Yeah. Number five. I, I knew that because I read uh, Arthur Clarke's uh, Fountains of Paradise. Oh, and I, and I got that fortress thing. Oh, oh, oh it's yeah. beautiful there. Clark lived in Colombo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we went to all these fe elephant festivals in Colombo. It's nice. It's a beautiful area. We have a lot of friends who live in Sri Lanka. Uh, number five. Um, yeah, when we were sitting on the beaches, not far, about ten miles from us, was this devastating. Um, Killing while they're rowing the people. And number five, where they um, escaped to is Bangladesh. That's right, right next door. Uh, right next door. I remember door to reading them. about that. Yeah, yeah. And videos. I remember. Why can't it just stick in my brain? I can remember the damn <laughs> videos of these things happening, but the name is just gone. Yeah, very close to us. And um, number six, uh, we were on our way to this country. We were going to spend a month touring Lebanon. And that's okay. when and that's when the um, COVID hit and we had to make a U-turn and fly back quickly a day before they, they closed the borders of, of um, Thailand. And the capital city of Lebanon is Beirut. Yes. So, uh, Beirut. Yep. We were lucky because it was not that it was not that you know long. We were going to spend over a month in Beirut. And that's when a um, you know, big part of the city got totally destroyed by Having this fertilizer explode. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number seven, um, yeah. Larnaca. So in Larnaca, it was very famous that they had these Palestinians killing all these people on the yachts in Larnaca. And Kyrenia is the northern part of this uh, this country. The country split in half between Turkey and Greece, and the country is Cyprus. Okay. Mm. So we came. We came actually very close to moving. To the northern part of I almost, the island because I, I, because I, I Turkey, think it was one of the ones I suggested. <laughs> Cyprus. Yeah, because Turkey, um, Turkey pays people because since Turkey illegally um, took over the northern part of Cyprus, they pay people to move there. So they actually pay Westerners to move and live in northern Cyprus. But it's um, boring. Hmm. It's cold and it's boring there. So we decided against it. Uh, number eight. Oh, number eight went there. And it's very difficult to um, to get visas to get there, but we spent a lot of time in Cuba. Number eight. 
So I'm going to take exception, as most people yeah. here would know, with your with your last statement that it's yeah, unknown. It the Wikipedia page says of over thousands of purported cases, which I think is actually a lot more than that. No. The majority of U.S. investigating bodies found only a few dozen suspicious. Yeah. So they really know what it is, and it was mass suggestion, mass. Psychogenic yeah, psychogenic illness. Illness. Yep. I, I told but, 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 Jamie, I said, Rob is going to give you hell on this question. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be talking at PSYCON on this very subject for people. Yeah. Yeah, they everybody, said they know. Stay for the Sunday that, papers. Rob. Our team did it too. Yeah. Everybody said, the answer is too, but he's, Rob's going to give him a hard time about it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So they know that, uh, I'll, note that, I'll, I'll note that it's uh, somewhat easier for Canadians to visit Cuba than uh, than for, mm -hmm. for U.S. Yeah. <laughs> It's easy. Uh, what do you know? Um, number nine, um, very recently, just before COVID, we were visiting our daughter in Australia where um, we took her to New Zealand. And when we were in Auckland, that's the day that the volcano exploded, killing all these tourists. Oh, I was in... The same day. No, I was New Zealand. I was day. in New Zealand too. Yeah. But Auckland is very close to the yeah, volcano. You, you didn't leave the volcano in your wake. 2019 December yeah. 2019 I just left um New Zealand I was in Australia when it happened oh so you were uh, pretty close mm -hmm. yeah you were pretty close too and four hour flight two, you were pretty close <laughs> yeah and number 10 I'm gonna put on the chat because I think most people know that the uh, tyrant of Romania was Nikolai Ceausescu and so I, know, uh, Vladimir. I thought it was Vladimir <laughs> And oh, so that's why. Oh. Yeah, and that could remember his first name, <laughs> Nikolai Shishetsko. And that's how you spell it. I thought since everyone will know Nikolai Shishetsko, most people will. Woohoo! Spell. It. Oh, we got so it. Oh, we did. We got oh, it. Oh, Way oh, to go, God. Bell. Wait, Bill. Including, Bill. Letter. including the Nikolai. Including the Nikolai. We included the Nikolai. We so wrapped it out. by that much. So wow. Jamie, stupid <laughs> letter. <laughs> So Jane, you know, we said we said nobody's gonna know this, and then somebody said O'Carroll. I only wrote the last name. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, oh wait a minute, then. I, I said Nikolai. I said Vladimir Chichescu. No, but if uh, we got this. Did you spell it right? We didn't spell it. If we spell Chichescu right, right. Okay, Jamie, we had we had Nikolai Chichescu, but we spelled Nikolai wrong. Jamie, I asked you, and you said you had to have both names. Yeah, you did. Oh, you did have yeah. to have both names? Okay. Yeah. We have both. Yeah, I'll I wrote spelled, down both names. In any case, I, I, I guess spelled... Rog, uh, in any case, I guessed wrong on the spelling of the oh. last name. So okay, if anyone got <laughs> if anyone, anyone got the spelling then. Adrian, I wrote got... down both names. Oh, did and you? Bill and did said, you... And Bill uh, said both names as well. Yeah. Yeah. I know he said that he did say Nikolai, but I only wrote down the last name. So okay. um did you I wrote it the down the way he spelled it though? And yeah, I did too. I did too. So we got both names. Uh, okay. Did, did we spell Nikolai right though? Yes, yes we did spell Nikolai right. Oh wow! Right. Wow! wow. So, Jamie, Jamie, wow. do we get extra credit for the squiggle under the first desk? What is spelled desk to right? <laughs> misspelled Nikolai. Uh, I'm impressed. Okay, so let me just put I'm these impressed. answers in the thing, and then we'll do all the scores real quick. Just mm. copying real quick. Six. I can't spell even easy words. Um, New Zealand wasn't it something to do with white? Uh, um, the New Zealand it was yeah, white. white or yeah, it's another name. The other name of the um that volcano right. was White Island. Yeah, that's like that. right. Yeah, yeah, it's another name for it. Yeah. Okay, so let me get this last one copied. All right, so. All right, so let's go to the scores. That was really good. Actually, that was very good, Jamie. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. It's depressing, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's go with, uh, would you prefer Musk Tower? <laughs> we got, thanks to uh, Jim being the ringer, nine. Nine? Oh. Damn. Okay. Jim, wow. Okay, enough. Embarrassed Canadians in the Golden Commode. Has anybody read the book or got the book enough yes um, i have it's a great book i've been thinking about it okay so on your recommendation i'm going to get it yeah and if you get her uh the uh reading the 
the audio, audio book before she reads it. It's uh -huh. really good. She she oh, does a really good, good job of uh, narrating. Oh wow! Oh, so should, we should get the audio book then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So question uh, enough. Embarrassed Canadians and the Golden Commode. How much did you get? Okay, Cindy. Seeing how you did such a great job, oh. you could. Yeah, we did ten. Thanks to Bill. Good job. Wow. Nice Goodness. work, team. Very good. Okay. Okay, no smoke, no gun, just a backfiring clown car, the Republican Six. Party. Six. 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 Full Keep front mind, absurdity. We're going for the new player. <laughs> <laughs> Full oh, frontal nerdity. Yeah, well, thanks to one letter in the name of a dead despot, we got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's, okay, Jamie's team. There's a term for a president like Trump, but hopefully not a second one. What do we get? Five. Oh, no. I'm yes. shocked that we got five. <laughs> 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 I thought it'd be three, but that's pretty good. Okay, you got a 7.8, which is like that earthquake that hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty damn impressed, Jamie. Okay, great job. So um, our next guest tonight is <laughs> Carl, which is why I suppose he's flipped his seat. We can see him fully in the face now. Do we have to change the name of our team? No, no longer he's except not going to be on your team for a while. Oh, okay. I will be there. Susan can sit sideways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Susan, properly represent. Get the dog off the table! What? 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 I said I was going to kill the dog. It's going to eat it. It's going to kill What are you me. talking about? You're hallucinating? Eating too many guys? No, I was just eating it with the, the, the sting I just did yesterday. The point it's seven. stuck in her head. The dog's going to eat it. I thought poinsettias were only poisonous for to cats. Well, I said that my dead husband dogs too. poisons to dogs. From and humans. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Carl. Crap ton of them. All right. Well, Mystery theme. At the end of the questions or at the end of the whole thing? At, at, with, at the end of the round. The end of the game. No, it's, it's a mystery theme round. Okay. Oh. Don't read too much into me saying it's a mystery theme round. And like, we overthink everything. Yeah, we're skeptics here. There's a theme that will help if you figure out the theme. It may help you with some of the answers. And you said it's a round name, so that's going to have a, a spherical will have something to do with this, right? No, yeah, exactly. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Think along that line, Rob. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Someone wants to mute. Or not he's got it yeah no problem all right question number one 1942 film starring gary cooper about the life and career of famed baseball player lou Gehrig. number two this country holds the record for the largest number of people ever to vote in an election number three in this episode of the original Star Trek series, the Enterprise picks up an unstable 17-year-old boy who spent 14 years alone on a deserted planet and lacks the training and restraint to handle his superhuman mental powers wisely. Number four. One of the stars is the 1986 to 1993 TV series Designing Women. She is married to major dad star Gerald McRaney. She also starred in a 1992-93 show that was named after her. Number five. This Volkswagen model was the successor to the Beetle and was originally sold as the Rabbit in the U.S. and the Caribbean in Mexico. Number six. An American television host and narrator, he is known for his work on the Discovery Channel series Dirty Jobs and his blue-collar trade activism. He also sang professionally with the Baltimore Opera. What? 
really? Wow. Thirty number seven. <laughs> Another name by which UTC coordinated your universal time is known. Number Adrian, eight. I know this one. This character, portrayed by Richard Anderson in both the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman television series, he is the director of operations at the OSI Office of Scientific Intelligence. Number nine. 2016 film based on the true story and starring Tina Fey, where she plays a journalist that recounts her wartime coverage in Afghanistan. And finally, number 10, a Shakespeare play. There's only one answer that's acceptable for this question in this round, a Shakespeare. Play. That's, that is a really, really good way of saying you need to know the category. I like that. That is, I like that. That number ten. Instead, is great. instead of having a question where you name the category, yeah. So it circumvents your rules. Why do you like it? I like. No, I like that a lot. I think that's good. All right. Here we go. Clever. Very, very clever. So whatever. It, Military. Military. Well, yeah, it's the military slang. So pull up the chat. Um, All right, let me share my screen because I got the. Yeah. So what did you say was? I know seven. Seven. seven it, it's Zulu time. No, I thought it's Greenwich. No, Greenwich. No, Gre Nova. Greenwich mean is something different. Uh oh, because number six is Mike Rowe. That's Mike Rowe. Right, That's Rowe. Right. And Rowe, the Greek R H O. Number four is Delta Burke. These are all Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Oh my God! You got it yep. already. Uh, yep. What is what is Y in the uh, in this thing? Is that you, you know, Nikki? Uh, I don't know. Whiskey. Tango, because number one is Pride of the Yankees. Well, it's three. Yankee. Is... It's Yankee. Yeah. Okay, then that that fits. Three and is Charlie X. India, right? Two is India then. Or is it indigo? Well, indigo. Well, oh, no, it's India. oh it's India. okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's a military I'll, letter. I'll yeah. Oh, you yeah. gave it away too easily because yep. we had it in second. Well, different. when he said Delta Burke and then Mike Rowe, I was just like, and then he said, well, it's Zulu time. I was like, yep, this is actually it because the uh, Volkswagen, it's the Tau. Sure. I think. Or, no, it's golf, isn't it? It's golf. Okay, yeah, golf. Yeah, so wait, I, I so the golf, yeah. Wait, so the theme is the phonetic alphabet. The phonetic alphabet, yeah. Okay, so three is Charlie X. Ah, that was right, yeah. Okay. I can't remember which spelling, but I don't think he cares. Two somebody said two was India. If you're yeah. Is it I thought it was indigo. Is it, it is indigo, is? that's the thing. But oh. I guess Okay, then it's well no, there's no okay. country named Indigo though. Yeah. Charlie Fox. Uh, I used to know the uh, Bravo. There's two sets of these. One is military and the other is not. And I thought India is one of them. It's not Indigo. Okay, it's I'll India. Put in the... India is oh. the one for military. Oh, okay. All right. That's what. I mean, India makes sense because it's the yeah. largest democracy. Do you think? No, and. Um... Right? You want to see what I cook? Um, eight is Oscar. Ah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2016 film. If you know both the first and the last name, it's always good to put them both, just in case the judge is a stickler. But we don't know any judges like that. <laughs> we should just go through the alphabet, see if we can remember it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying working on the play because I have no idea about the. Well, the alphabet, okay. um, I forgot A, but is it Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Echo, wait, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. Foxtrot. What comes Hotel. 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 Golf. India. Golf. J. Is Jaguar? No. no. J. Uh, hold on. Let me just write down J for now, so we'll come back to it. H is Hilo. Oops, no, H is that. Hotel. 
Sure. Um, okay. Well, there are two phonetic alphabets you guys are saying? Yeah, this is yeah. the military one. Okay. So yeah. J, we don't have H's. Hotel. Well, no, I think it's a combo. I think it's a combo. Okay. A, B, C, D, H, I is indigo, India, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think K is kilo. K is kilo. L is Lima. Kappa. Lima. Lima. What's that bring us up to? L, M, N. O, Oscar, P. Is it N, Nora? No, no. Oh. Tango, Echo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, Juliet. There, there it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's because I have to spell the boat name sometime. Tango, Echo, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee, mm -hmm. Space, Lima, Echo, Echo. Uh -huh. So then it's not Mike Rowe with this. It's, it's a play on Rowe, though. R H O. No, but then we have Romeo. But what is. But yeah, what would Mike Rowe? M, M is Mike. Yeah. Mike Rowe. No, Mike Rowe. Yeah. Or maybe it's Mike, not, not Rowe. Could it be Mike? For the M. For M? Yeah. Okay. Well, they had both. Okay. 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 So the only thing you got left is number Alpha nine. Sierra. Oh, Sierra. Delta Burke. That's Here's her name. Recipe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delta Burke. So does anybody know yeah. Tina Fey's movies? The only one I know is Bossy Sierra. Pants, and I don't think that was I, one Mean of Girls them. is the other, other one I know of uh, her. Mean Girls, right. Sierra, Tango. So X-ray, Yankee, Zulu, Whiskey. Oh yes! You. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good at this. Tango, Sierra, Romeo, V. Victor, V is yeah. Victor. Save me the noodles, mm -hmm. Mark. Huh? Lima. So M N T Q. Maybe there's a movie called Victory or something like that. We're on question nine. Yeah. 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 That's the only um, one that's left. What letter have we not done? A U. Unicorn? Is it unicorn or is it um no. I don't think it's unicorn. Uniform? Your filthy. It's uniform. Uniform? Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Whiskey also could And the whiskey? other one we didn't get was a J. Oh, yeah. And what was M we think is M is Mike? Yeah, yeah. M is Mike. N is Nancy. Nancy. Could it I be Nancy? It was... M is in Mike. No, I thought it was Nora. It's um, Nancy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think, they I don't think either of those, either of those are, are the movies. Could it be so. Julia? That doesn't sound familiar. Hamilton, no, 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 they don't understand you. He's trying to tell me. He's, I guess, oh, he's Mark. a Tina Fey fan. <clears throat> he knows. He knows. No, my cat is. He knows what uh, the answer is. You remember a movie by Tina Fey with Tina Fey that used the phonetic alphabet military? <laughs> <laughs> um. Wasn't it like titled, I don't know, like. Maybe Alpha? I want to say it might have more than one. The Bravo? Could, be Bravo. could Bravo have been. No, like, because you know what Whiskey Tango Fox Truck stands for? What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck, yeah. Could that be, I don't know. No, uh, maybe. <laughs> Because wasn't there a movie called Whiskey Tango Foxtrot? Yes. <laughs> was that in 2016? But, but I don't remember when and who was in it. We could go with that. Yeah, I go. I'm going to put it down until somebody goes over That's better. a good one, Faith. Mm -hmm. You don't have a last name for number eight? Oh, Do, we, uh, Do we need to have his last name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was my original intention that that be <coughs> but you didn't explain that <laughs> the Did character you? portrayed by Richard Anderson in both the six million I cannot remember his last name Oscar Oscar, Oscar, Nancy. Oscar. Oscar Wilde Oscar Wiener Oscar, 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 Oscar Meyer it's Oscar Meyer and Bologna is his first obviously name. his last name oh. was the Grouch yes uh, I would we have an Oscar Fish in our tank over here, who we've named Felix, of course. 
I'm I'm shocked that, you're right I, that there's another there's another yeah. Steiner. What is you, Victor? Unicorn. unicorn. I oh. thought it's unicorn. No, no, unicorn. It kind of rhymes with unicorn. Although the phonetic <laughs> alphabet is supposed to be easily uniform, does not sound. Yeah, that's why I think it's unicorn. What did we put for number one? Pride In, it's, it's not unicorn. Oh, Yankee. Yankee. Are you sure it's not unicorn? Yes. I think you're wrong. Or it could be unicycle. No. Oh, Univision. It's well, the Spanish. If, the if Spanish you're watching, alphabet. if you're watching the uh, movie Hot Shots, it's uh, underwear. I just made you say it falls out. Un underwear, Velveeta knuckles. You are cleared to proceed. Underwear, Velveeta knuckle. Bravo, Charlie Delta Echo. Fox Trot. Fox Trot. A B C D E F G. We have go H is hotel. I is indigo. In where mm -hmm. I learned it. Oh, you're putting all the missing ones in number nine. I'm hoping if I go through it, I'll come up with J. You know, I remember what J was. So Carl, <laughs> if somebody gets the last name of Oscar for Oscar, I gather that they'll get it. We won't. Uh, it, it, it's hard for me to give an answer because this is my team. Madison, so I want to give it to. Oh, you. that's true. Yeah. Uh, well, this, and I don't know. If, here, Susan. Let's it put it this way. If, if another team besides you has only Oscar, so. I'll give you the point for sure. Okay. But I don't know. It, I don't know if it, it feels quite right for me to. What if we said it's Oscar and he lives on Hauser Street in Queens? <laughs> if that's true of the character, you will absolutely get a point. It's true of a character. <laughs> but will the postal service deliver a letter addressed that way? Well, he was a grouch. Yes. <laughs> um, we should have put these in order. I so think J is Juliet. Juliet. I think J is Juliet. Oh, okay, I that might so. be right. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. It doesn't ring a bell. But maybe it's right. That's why Romeo and Juliet work. Oh, I see. Juliet. I mean, if you're right, it doubly works. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. So can we use that to get two points to make up yeah. for the last name of Oscar missing? No. Oh, darn. So we should know the name of this guy? He's yeah, I might have been able to make five. I could have made five of, questions out of the last two questions. He's yeah. the director of <laughs> operations at the Office of Scientific Intelligence. Why would we know that? Because he watched the show. You oh, watched the Bionic the Man. You know. How many it's... decades ago? Mark, Jeez. did yeah. you know? Um... Okay, let me ask you. From Mark, the Bionic Woman. From the show The Bionic Woman and The Six Million Dollar Man, there was a guy who played the director of operations at the Office of Scientific Intelligence, and his name was It's called the OSI. The OSI. He was a character Are you played by me. Yeah, he was a character played by Richard Anderson. Yeah. What's the guy's name? Wait, Oscar didn't you say that that should number nine should be Whiskey Tango Fox. Oh Trot. yeah, number nine is Whiskey Tango Fox Trot. Oh Fox Trot. Yeah, it's what the yeah, fuck? But, I can't looking at that saying that makes the point sense. The last thing. Thank Mark you. Says his name is Oscar. Marcus, Mark says his name is just Oscar. Do you think that's what it is? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. So, how many of the twenty-six have we used? One, two. Three, well, we would four, use ten, five, right? Six, seven. Well, no, we've used eight, like three nine, on Whiskey Tango Fox Trot. Thirteen. Oh, there's yeah. thirteen of them up there. So, which one are we missing? I thought you got them all. We, we got did them get all. them all. We've got there all the answers. There would be another thirteen yeah. of them if 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 Oscar's last name was one of them. Which, no, well, we don't know it, that. Right, we don't know that at all. The, no, the, that I I just I mean normally when I when you ask for a character, you want the first and last name of a character. I'm not implying that both of them count as a point. But I thought his character name was just Oscar. That's like, what Mark just there said. There is a last name. Well, that's nice, but if he's only known as Oscar, like Charlie from... Well, I mean, the, the name is mentioned many times in the show. Well, if nobody else gets it... You know, I loved that show as a kid, and I went, I tried to watch it again a couple of years ago, and I thought, this is so stupid. Yeah. Anything from the It's 80s. incredibly stupid. Yeah. This yeah. thing that lands, like that. this thing they were sending into space that lands and then decides... Oh. Kill. I mean, oh, the, the the Venus probe. Yeah, yeah, and the Sasquatch episode. 
I can't he believe I thought that million. was easy. Yeah. Did he make six million off of it? Probably. It was the sound that got me more than anything. Every time he used one of his powers, I went. <laughs> Kids today watching that probably make fun of us afterwards. What's wrong? Well, it was the, it was the mid seventies, right? With um, yeah, the year of maybe it, there was a different reason I liked it as a younger boy. <laughs> I, those leisure suits spoke to me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta look it up. I'm sorry, I gotta have a look. Especially with the snaps, the metal snaps for the jacket. Yeah. Hey, I had a leisure suit, so. Oh, well, me you too. Have, you have another Steiner. I'm just like I said. I'm shocked. I had yeah, a. He, I had he's a. He's the old of, old one. Is yeah. there a sister? No, just three All boys. All right, see you on the other side. Yep, Here we go. My mother. Oh, yep. Kevin will be right back. After these messages, I don't know. so what is this with the golden commode? Because I googled it and I get golden toilet. I don't get uh, golden. Well, toilet. correct. Uh, in uh, in his personal uh, home in the Trump Tower, he has got a uh, his bathroom is made with uh, golden facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought we were saying there's a real book with that name about this. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yeah. No, no. They're saying that's what they're going to name the tower once they strip the name off of Trump. Uh, the tower. It's be you know, the, the so the most interesting thing I heard about the 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 decision on Trump's companies all being invalidated is apparently, and uh, this is not confirmed to be one hundred percent true, but supposedly he sold the rights to his self for promotional purposes to one of these companies that he set up, so that. They could continue to market things using his name while he was president, and he could claim he had nothing to do with that. If that's true, and that company gets li liquidated and its assets sold off, somebody other than Donald Trump could own the rights to Donald Trump's name for promotional purposes, and he wouldn't be able to <laughs> use his name anymore for any commercial purposes. I think well, Cheeto should I buy him. I was thinking that, that they... was his, were his own children. Yeah, if they liquidated the company that has his name on it, would they liquidate him? Mm. That would be nice. What, so, what can help? So, are you saying that if they that the building's going to be up for naming I, rights? Well, they can be turned every, into everything like Trump a, owns is owned by some sort of holding company that is incorporated in the state of New York, and the judge just ruled every single one of those companies is a fraudulent company and needs to be liquidated. How about hmm. Tish James? Tower. Yeah. Gee, let's see. Shouldn't uh, <laughs> let's see if if, if all right. Let's hear if, the if, if, if right. Trump, number if one. So we get out of here quickly. If it's Pride a Trump holding company, should be... yeah. yeah. Number two, the largest democracy in the world, India. Right. Number three, Charlie X. Number four, Delta Burke. Oh, was there a show no. called Delta? Yes. Ah, oh, that does sound familiar now. Number five, the Volkswagen Golf. Golf. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. Number six, Mike Rowe. Seven, Zulu time. Oh. What happened to GMT? It's Zulu. It, it doesn't fit the category. <laughs> oh, we never figured what the category was. Technically, GMT is not a name for UTC. UTC is essentially a replacement or alternative to GMT. Right. Why is it called Zulu time? Google uh, it. Um, because American military. Because Zulu is a recognizable letter that you can say Zulu. Oscar Goldman. Oh. Oscar Goldman. I should have known that oh, shit. He was also he was also great on that MacGyver show. Mike knew it. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Which uh -huh. I heard of that. The fills the category out, three great. times over. Yeah. <laughs> and Romeo and Juliet, which fulfills the category twice. Good job. It was Oscar Gold. And uh, the Category is NATO phonetic alphabet soup. Very good. So what's the decision on number eight with if he didn't put Goldman? No, you gotta have the first and last name because somebody else got it. 
Okay, Yankee India X. Oh. But Oscar Charlie. fit the category. Yeah, so we only Delta, put Oscar Paul, because of the category. Mike, Zulu, Oscar. It's up to it's up to Carl. Kyle. Uh, Carl. Unfortunately, Carl. It, 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 did any other team put Oscar and not Goldman? Yes, this one. Okay, well, I, I told my team, if any Goldman? other team got just Oscar and not Goldman, then I would give both of them points. So you both- So wait, so did anybody else say Goldman? Other teams did say yeah. Goldman, but I said in the room, I can't, in all fairness, make an exception just for my team. But if somebody else does also Oscar, then it will count as a point. But you guys realize that they're going to get a point. We're going to get a point, but it it's- Everybody You're not on our team point. anymore, Susan. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going to get a point now. Susan, you're just being pointless. Well, everybody that got Oscar. Get a point. Did everybody get Oscar? I think we even figured out what the category was. No, I saw shaking heads. Not everyone got Oscar. Really? Okay, not so. everybody did. <clears throat> All right. All righty. So let's start with there's a term for a president like Trump, but hopefully not a second one. Ten. Woo! That's what Nine. happens when I get off the team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no smoke, no gun, just a backfiring clown car. Backfiring. Hmm? I thought we got nine. Nine? No, eight. We got eight. 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 What no, else did you miss? <laughs> I'll, as soon as I well, get her right. out of the yeah, way, I'll stop. Sorry. We nine, it's eight. We missed Zulu. <laughs> It's 98. Okay, it's eight? Yes, it's eight. Okay, full eight. frontal uh, full frontal nudity. Nerdy. Ten. Ten. I don't know. I was on that team. Just wanted to say that. I didn't help in any way, but I was on that team. Would you prefer <laughs> Musk Tower? Oh, we totally missed the boat on this. We all guessed wrong about how many we're going to get right, too. Four. <laughs> okay, enough. Embarrassed Canadians in the golden commode. Ten. Ah. Wow. Jim, Kyle, Lee, Rob, and Deborah. What the heck? What the heck? We really <laughs> want another player. 8.4. <laughs> we thought the theme was much ado about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay, let's get our photo. Where's Kevin? Isn't that the theme for almost every category? Yes. <laughs> Good point, Brian. <laughs> okay. I, get, I usually get one in in a year. <laughs> well, the year's we almost a done. Guest in our room. That's all. There's the photo. in the chat. If you guys need the document, Don't Carl move. has given us the name. Okay, ready? <clears throat> one, two, three. There we go. We get Kevin. Be you right might want back. to study up on the alphabet because this is the second time I've done this round. There might be another one in the future. Got it. Uh, there, there, there's a problem if you don't know that that's the thing and you don't have enough correct answers to figure out that that's the thing, which was our case. Like if we had Delta Burke, we put Reba McIntyre. There's no Reba McIntyre in the phonetic alphabet. So it's like we weren't thinking along those lines. That's the well, problem with this thing. True. You did yeah. McIntyre with and, and we didn't have Zulu. We had GMT. So it's like, what the hell is GMT? Bro, and uh, Reba McIntyre has to do with Sounds like a personal problem. But Reba McIntyre wasn't in design. And Good, night, Good night, Carolyn. Good night, Carolyn. I hope you feel right, better. Good night, Carolyn. Good night, Carolyn. Feel yeah. better. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Faith, uh, I night. said we didn't get enough right to get it. I didn't Good night, say Jim. We got it right. Good night, Carolyn. Good night, Jim. Right. Good night, Gracie. Jim. <laughs> see, you <laughs> see you another week. Good night, Mary Ellen. Are we losing everybody? No, oh, you're losing. Boy. Good night, Mom. Good night, Paul. Good night, Paul. <laughs> Good night, Paul. <laughs> Bye, guys later. Bye. <laughs> okay, four minutes. Oh, okay, four. I think I can play four. one more. You could go one more. Come on now. Just one. Susan, one of these days, you just need to say bye and then end the trivia. Early. Oh, that'd be mean. I want to know what's going to happen Susan's next. Like, okay, bye. Click. <laughs> no yawning, Wendy. I'm yawning. I'm tired. I can Aww. do probably one more round and that's it. You'll miss the fun one, but that's okay. <laughs> but then I'll be sleeping. Shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. You that's just need to next, Adrian. That's all there is to it. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't want to miss yours, Adrian, but I'm falling asleep. Fair. I, I, it's absolutely fine, Wendy. <laughs> Got to go to sleep. You can always just watch the watch the video and see how you do. Take, you know. I'll take. I'm gonna <laughs> stay awake for one more. No, no, yep. Sorry, Wendy. You can't. You're you're uh, by law not re allowed to go to sleep. You have to continue trivia. I, no matter how much it hurts, I haven't been very helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's how I always feel. Too, I didn't Wendy. know anything about geography. Oh, lovely. Thank and, you. And I never figured out the um, the theme of Freeze the good. of the puzzle. Yeah, the second puzzle. Oh. <gasps> I think I've got a, a peach in my um refrigerator. I'll be right back. I like trivia night. Look what my husband just brought me. Oh, oh that looks oh, good. That good. Uh -huh. What is it? Nice. It is um some kind of meatballs with spinach, and it looks like. I don't know, pine nuts and apples and cucumbers and Sounds cranberries. Good. Doesn't it sound good? Yeah. 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 Just He's making me so hungry. Things thrown on there. He's not a, usually a, a into cooking at all. So I was shocked when he said, because we usually just order in. And he says, well, I'll cook dinner tonight. Yeah, you know, We get HelloFresh, so it makes it easy, right? He doesn't have to Hello. think about it. So I was like, well coming up like next trivia night we'll be knocking on thanksgiving store yes the canadian we thanksgiving, thanksgiving door yeah yeah I had, the I, canadian started the whole thanksgiving tradition so really there's hmm. thanksgiving and there's american thanksgiving that's right what's, they just don't okay. know it that way will we have it story what's the story of canadian thanksgiving uh there is a uh, an explore we actually I did the category last year before Thanksgiving, and I did Canadian Thanksgiving. Yeah, if you remember. I, I, yeah. I, I, I probably do remember. They're, they're yeah. Thanking God I, they didn't join the colonies in the revolution. Well, does everyone have their costumes ready to go out tomorrow night for Canadian Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> Can we call it Samhain? And yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so I think it was, like, it was an but, explorer, if I remember correctly, Jane, that didn't think he was going to survive. And when he landed, I think it was in Labrador or Newfoundland, one of the two, he landed there and he was so grateful. They had a big celebration and their feast was just their leftovers from the, I mean, it was pretty bad. It wasn't very feastful, but that started the tradition. Uh, and uh, you know it's harvest time as well so yeah it was it was uh, leftover chinese <laughs> <laughs> well, if we waited until the end of november oh here i'm yeah. sorry but we're i've got harvest? a ton Nothing of harvesting. snow on the ground usually by november yeah. actually often by halloween so it's like yeah we're not doing the harvest then <laughs> now do you guys do you guys do much of a celebration ron i don't remember ever ha have to have doing any kind of special celebration on thanksgiving for and canadian thanksgiving no i don't remember it, was, it at all and traditionally it's been pretty big for my family and greg's family i uh, do you have an american connection no because no. we we and well, nobody i knew it we all we knew is that it was a day off school i think right. it was a day of school but that yeah, was, was it it's but it, what's was, interesting there, alan is it's no longer a day off school for a lot of people yeah. <laughs> well it's because they've been spending i know depending where you are they've been spending all their days off on the jewish holidays yeah. they're running, they need they, they got to work sometime so cat was it was it a big deal for your family too canadian thanksgiving oh yeah, like we had a big turkey dinner and stuff. Yeah, and now yeah. that, you know, my family's so small, we go to this um, Indo fusion place where they have Aboriginal chefs and we get bison spring rolls and a turkey dinner with a cat, butternut where, squash soup and stuff. Where are you, Kat? Edmonton. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know where that is? Uh -huh. I sp come on. I, I spent I spent the season playing in the symphony there. So I uh, okay. yeah, he and I, I got to there. I got to put a block heater in my car so that it would so that I could start it during the winter. I can't believe that cars don't come with them. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell? Have you 
seen Edmonton? Hello. Wait, um, what's this blockade? You don't know. There, there are places like California keeps your over there from where we, uh, freezing. I, I complain Hello. when there's frost on my windshield that I have to take a credit card off. <laughs> We well, I learned that, you know, warning. when you would drive into a a, a a heated garage, as soon as you went in, all of a sudden you couldn't see out the front of your your your, your windshield. <laughs> but the best thing about, you know, they talk about dry heat, cold heat, or dry or cold um, uh, air. At, the best thing was you'd get, we would get a big snowfall. You could walk up to your car and go <laughs> and blow the snow off you because mm -hmm. it was so powdery and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then and then like there's a suddenly somebody turns a switch and in June it's 100 it's 100 degrees. It's like yeah. it goes from 100 below mm -hmm. to uh, to 100 above. But I have seen snow in every, every single month of the year except July. And they did snow apparently in July like back in the 60s before I was a, a thought um let alone a being. But yeah, <laughs> so it's it's an interesting climate. It's weird the day I arrived because I, I didn't want to drive. I, I came out in January and I did not want to, I shipped my car. I didn't want to be driving across the tundra from Ontario, you know, across, you know, uh, the field <laughs> in the winter. So I, I, um, I shipped the car. I took the train. When I arrived, oh. when I arrived into Edmonton, it was 60 degrees and there are no Chinooks in Edmonton. It was so weird, nope. you know. It's weird. Okay, and it's getting weirder like that. Like we're we're getting warmer winters, and then we'll get like the minus forty cold snap that last two weeks, which happened to me last December, which coincided mm. with my furnace dying. Not a fun couple of weeks there, but mm. uh, yeah, it's also getting uh, more humid here and windier. And your Very cold air is coming down climate. here. We haven't. It's there's like been no humidity for the last week. And it has been beautiful. It actually feels like fall and I'm waiting. Like the only time we ever have this is when a hurricane comes through and brings <clears throat> brings the cool air and it spits. So, so you're on the east coast then? I'm, we're in the I'm we're in North Carolina, so we're in the south. Like it's it's cold to me right now. And it's I think it was a high of 74 <laughs> today. <laughs> and it's going to get well, into this is fascinating tonight. to to come yeah. back and see you guys all talking about the weather come on now well, well it's like our, our HVAC Canada. hasn't come on at all like it's actually i've got the ac still set to 74 and the house is sitting at 72 it's wonderful okay so let's do announcements <laughs> so what do we got here who's here let's see hey buddy um there's Kyle. Kyle, I hear you have a podcast. Hey, hey, I do indeed. It's called Data Skeptic. And this week we talk about illicit uses of large language models. How uh, someone can take these new tools and create, you know, phishing emails and other fraudulent scams mm -hmm. and what the risks are to the average person. So that's this week we discuss some of that on Data Ooh. Skeptic. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That sounds very very useful so if we want to start our own company scams i've started watching these scam videos on sure. youtube but of course you know that you end up getting about a billion you know where they scan they go through and they scam the people who are in other countries it's amazing the reverse scammers yeah that's fun stuff it's fun but it's a little too technical for me i just wait for the part where they get like oh my god you know and then you're like oh that was interesting i don't know how they did that but okay it looks like magic to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of work to set up a reverse scam, but uh, mm -hmm. always satisfying when they do. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if we had a lot more people devoted to that, I think. The yeah. Our industry, from what I understand. I, I heard an AI nightmare today uh -huh. where it's a local hospital. Somebody uh, faked the HR person's voice and face and had people call to do like job interviews over the phone and got all their information. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was good enough that they could, they thought it was the HR person. Deborah, is this written up? This is a big story. Yeah. Well, I heard, I just heard about my coworker went to a payroll lunch or something and they were, the, somebody was telling the story there. So it just happened? I think it might have been fairly recent. Yeah. Which hospital? Uh, community. Is he local? Yeah. Community hospital. 
Monterey. I mean, I don't know the hospitals around here. Oh, yeah. The, thankfully, thankfully, Cindy doesn't know them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been sick yet, so. Good, good. Yeah, no, it's the one on Highway 68, kind of going over to PG. Chomp. Oh, you know, by by a uh, seventeen mile drive, kind of, yeah, kind of there. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I think Kyle wants more information on that. So. Yeah, I would. Yeah, that's a a, a terrifying example that uh, mm -hmm. I've been waiting for and haven't heard one like that yet. Yeah. Well, if I can get more information, I'll send it to you. I know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, anything else, Adrian? You have anything? Yeah, I know one thing that, and Faith is here, so that's good. The piece that Faith and I did about a month ago is finally going to make it on to the skeptic zone, and that's about the Hawthorne effect and how the idea that no matter what you do, when you're studying somebody, you're going to get some kind of result is actually based in a flawed study from the 1920s and 1930s. Mm. So it was very interesting. It was very fun. I, I love working with uh, that. Adrian, with you faith. have some more yeah. news too. Oh, I do I have to tell you that too. <laughs> <laughs> now you do. <laughs> I guess I do. So I have been selected to do a Sunday paper at PsyCon. So Yay! Awesome. Yay! <laughs> and it's going to be on a topic that is all near and dear to my heart. That's for sure. Yeah. Look yeah. And mine too. I mean, it's been a bit of an obsession of mine for a while. It's about Sally Winchester. I'll call her by her actual name instead oh, of yeah. the fake name that they always, well, it's a fake real name because she was born that way, but she was never called it. She was always called Sally Winchester. She signed everything, Sally Winchester. So that's. I didn't know that. And I've been. Of course you didn't. Most people don't know the truth about the Winchester Mystery House and uh, uh, Sally Winchester. Kat, when she came to Week and Reason, she said she didn't know. She always thought she was a crazy woman. And I've had so many people when I do these presentations, and I've done two of them so far, who say always say, well, what? Are you telling it's me that? Fascinating. Yeah, what what I what, and that's just a little snippet, right? I'm and this is going to be a much bigger deep dive into it. So I'm sad that it's yeah. going to be Sunday all the way till Sunday before people hear it because I think if you did this on the very and only of the... 15 minutes, but you're going to have me do more than that, right, Susan, for the Monterey County, Monterey County, Cal County skeptic skeptic yeah, thing. Well, that's the plan, and then um, but I was just thinking of a big audience because this is a really big deal. I'm I'm really excited but about it. Unfortunately for the Sunday papers, it's not a big audience. It's only going to be like 300 people, Adrian. Sorry, yeah. 300 people is going to be a really <laughs> big room. Well, they, with, yeah. it, okay, it just feels like it's empty whenever I've watched people do it. You are going to have <laughs> about 100 pictures taken of you while you're up there. Yeah, and, hey, and, and all video and everything. So that it won't be hardly anybody there at all. Only 300. You know, maybe <laughs> Richard Weissman, Bill Nye. But will they actually stay? They don't. Do they usually stay for the Sunday paper? That's Rob. No. Rob? Yeah, no. see? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, hopefully this Monday, Rob and Adrian and I are going to do a live feed on uh, my Facebook page and we'll share it around and things. And we're going to talk about PsyCon and tips people should know and, you know, some ideas about stuff. So uh, look for that on my feed. Um, Rob, you have anything you've got news wise? Yeah, GSOW is taking over the PsyCon Sunday papers because two of the five people are GSOW. I am speaking also. Yep. So we don't know who the other three are. Or at least I don't. You don't know, Adrian. They're not GSOW. Okay, I you would have heard that. But yeah, so I and I'm going to be talking on uh, on um, what Jamie Havana. mentioned, uh, mass <laughs> psychogenic illness, the Havana syndrome, and uh, Iranian schoolgirl poisonings. This will be your fourth fourth Sunday. Fourth paper. sequential, and it's it was a record when it was three. So I'm I'm raising the bar for anyone in the are future. You, are you trying to be a member of the Five Club? <laughs> i wasn't even trying to be a member of the four so just <laughs> just happened uh, this way i know from my previous experience with this that sometimes they don't get enough reasonable entries to even fill the spots that they have open so what i did is i wrote to them and i said well i don't want to take anyone's spot because i've already done it freaking three times in a row but if you get into that situation i do have a presentation ready to go and i was shocked as hell when they said yeah we need you to talk they didn't so, have enough. Well, I'm a, telling you, you got to go and do this, you guys. Next, it's year. a big process, but it's not overwhelming. And having done two 
papers with or one particularly with citation for a skeptical inquirer makes a big difference because then you know you just do it like you would yeah. if you were going to do a submission to skeptical inquire so we're gonna have it okay um what else do we have anything else um oh I'm my my last my, la oh. my last or most recent promoting psycon interview is now published that was a few days ago it is with uh the uh not too much speaking version of the uh the pair pen and teller so it I was excellent. Tell, her, tell her to talk for over a half hour so i really enjoyed that and teller was okay. really great and there was so much commonality between teller and mark I said, Mark, you've got to listen to this. I mean, it was like parallel family life and and a lot of interesting things. Very, very fascinating. So tell her. Yeah, I thought it was fascinating that, that what he told me about guy. when I asked questions about Penn, that Penn had no interest in magic at all. Mm -hmm. And Teller had no interest in skepticism. And they both got each other cross-interested. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. I thought it was amazing that you hardly got to talk. I've never heard tellers. So, so my my interview strategy, I talked about this with Adrian, is I, I generally have more of a conversation where I will tell, like when he was talking about his heart operation, I told him about my father's heart operation because he had also quadruple bypass. But then I edit that out because nobody wants to hear my story. So, so it's yeah. So that's why, really, you, you know, I, I have a conversation with the people, and when it's appropriate, I'll tell them things. And talk more, but I don't leave that in when I edit it. Yeah. That's probably. For but you long. also you also didn't have to prompt him. You ask him a question. Yeah. And he didn't yeah. just answer the question. He went on for five minutes. Yeah. He's just he's and and some of his stuff I actually edited it out because Barry likes these about thirty minutes at most. I generally stretch it to forty, but it was like an almost an hour when we were done. He he can talk. I guess, I guess because he can't talk on stage, he has to talk something. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that was interesting. The reason why he doesn't talk that was fascinating. So you guys got to check this out. Rob's put it in the in the chat. You guys should definitely check that out. Um, Karen, are you there? Karen, maybe not. Yeah. If Judy been. and I can't talk about it on camera right at this moment, but we yes, yes, I yes, I am. I'm in my car. Oh, I was just gonna say any anything that you want to say that happened yesterday because I haven't heard anything. Um, I'm sorry, yesterday what? Where you went yesterday? Anything you can share? Oh, share? well, the event was today. I mean, there's, right. it's, it's public. I can, there's no drama. Do you want me to share? Yeah, go ahead. I just, um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm on my iPhone and I really don't know how to, just, I can't just, see anything. Yeah, just talk. We can hear you. Well, the community, uh, I, my my phone blew up when uh, DeSantis was going to be coming to town, and big ag families were were sponsoring it three thousand three hundred dollars a person when they had just turned down raises for the poor farm workers and ag workers. Anyway, the community United Farm Workers took the lead, and the community wanted to do protests. They did one on Sunday, they did one Wednesday last night, and. Today, they met at Star Market, which is on the edge of town, because no one knew where this fundraiser was. They finally got notice that it was going to be at a place called Corral de Tierra, which is a country club, gated community type place uh, a few miles outside of town. So they went there. Oh, and um, yes. And this morning, there were two Salinas Police Department officers there, and they said we're here to, that they were there to protect the protesters to make sure no one did violence against them right so when they heard it was in corral de tierra i wasn't there this morning i was there last night um this morning and it's all peaceful it's all justice love we love immigrants you know we are we are anti-racist we we say gay i mean it was all very positive um but today the officers were there when they heard it was corral de tierra everybody went out there to corral de tierra and the powers that be called the sheriff because they said they were uh, concerned about violence. They were reported that there was violence. There was no violence. And um, so but I hope Tina, that doesn't mean. And yet those are uh, sheriff. Well, but she must, she must, you know, enforce the, the law and respond to calls. Mm -hmm. But isn't that something that, that whomever did that, these are peaceful protests and, they called the sheriff because they said there were violence, threats of violence. There was no violence. So anyway, it made the news and it drew attention and everybody 
uh, pours the man and there you go. And it drew attention to all the very wealthy ag owners, which is a, you know, $14 billion industry in Monterey County. It is the largest industry above, it's above tourism. Uh, drew attention to the fact that they support this guy. It makes me nauseous. Thank you, Karen. You're very welcome. Okay, so on that depressing note, are we done? <laughs> no, no, the positive thing, the uh -huh. positive thing is that protested, the people protested and everybody honked and cheered and the majority of people were very much behind it. That's the positive news. Right, so hopefully, wow, still, it's just depressing to hear that man was in our town in my neighborhood. Well, not really, I'm not in the crowded here, but. All right, so we ready to start back up again. Thank you guys for being here. This is a, uh, it's so wonderful to have you guys here showing up again. Um, oh, I'm up to 34 cents in, in uh, my amount of money I've earned from my, from my channel. <laughs> 34. Wow. 34. That's well, double what it was the last time you. Yeah. Now it's, now no. it's 34. Seven. I'm on day two of mon 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 monetization. Monetization. Month, Thank you. In a month, you'll be able to buy some <laughs> milk duds. Technically, well, that's exponential well, growth. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I should have a milk duds well. in a, within a week. One box of milk duds. Well, you keep doubling. You're going to have more than that. Mm -hmm. She'll have oh. uh, four, over 14 million, I think, or mm -hmm. maybe even more than that. She'll have all the more than she can eat. If she doubled every day. Oh, you guys are so cute. Um, <laughs> I'll look real quick so and double check and see, but I think that I was, I don't think it's updated now. I'm at 1,050. The IRS is going to be all over your ass. I know, my God. Well, I it, the taxes will be ah. taken out of it. I'm at 1,058, which is amazing. Mm. This community is absolutely incredible. So my, my last pre-psychon interview I just finished and submitted, it might be out tomorrow, was with Professor Dave of Professor Dave Explains. He has like 50 freaking million followers. Imagine what I he made. What? Okay, okay, it's updated. Freaking I'm at 54 cents now. <laughs> so wow. you guys better watch out because wow. I'm going to drop your hot ass real soon <laughs> 54 cents now ah, i want to know how much those people make because it is it's got to be a lot of money yeah. you know well so right. one thing i learned i said how does he do all the different topics because you've ever seen his channel he does every freaking thing every kind of science he does monetary stuff like stuff you would know how do you, he hires people to write i was just gonna say of course he's hiring in people. those subjects he must you've be got that many people money. on your team you can yeah. pay people yeah so at a certain yeah. point, you're no, it's no longer a little kind yeah. of thing anymore. All right. So now we have Peggy. Peggy, you actually have your powers already. Oh, thank you. Um, I am going to first, I'll put in the. Okay, we're doing lawyers oh, and literature. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Ooh. More literature than lawyer, probably. Ooh. But, you know, um, okay. Number one, I will slowly, but painfully copy lawyers and literature and film for those people watching all 10 of you oh thank you <laughs> all 10 of you there could be many it could well, be you know now that i'm well this is a different channel that i put things up not on right my, this channel that i put stuff on i have 770 followers or uh, subscribers you guys are welcome to subscribe it'd be nice if i got to a thousand and started making I think I already did, but I'll double check. Okay. So I number think, one, I think I'm, I'm subscribed with all of my YouTube names. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh wait, I'll I'll get another identity. <laughs> number one. Whoops. The old mute, huh? Um, Bill Tulkinghorn is an unscrupulous lawyer for Sir Lester in what classic Dickens novel that concerns a long-running lawsuit? over conflicting wills and beneficiaries in chancery court. And they're not all Dickens. Um, Copy. Doop, 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 doop. Number two is 
What is the name of the lawyer who represents the falsely accused Tom Robinson in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird? Number three is Presumed Innocent was a best-selling debut novel published in 1987 and later a 1990 film written by a practicing attorney author named, and you name the author. Do I have to spell it correctly? No. <laughs> I don't want that to be a precedent anybody follows. <laughs> Staying with the theme, I actually think we should take that what Jamie did to the Court of Appeals. <laughs> Number four, a TV series first, starting in 1978, then a series of books by the same writer, John Mortimer. The main character is an eccentric, poetry-quoting, cigar-smoking barrister who enjoys glasses of what he refers to as Chateau Thames Embankment wine at Pomeroy's Wine Bar. He refers to his wife as she who must be obeyed. Name the lawyer, barrister, or the title of the show. Rob, I was going to say, you should be afraid of Jamie. Did you not see the category? <laughs> we must be nice to Jamie. You might visit. He might visit. Yeah, really. <laughs> no. Uh, number five. Paul Newman lost out to Gandhi for a 1983 Oscar for his stellar portrayal of Frank Galvin in this 1982 film directed by Sidney Lumet, which was based on a 1980 book by the same title. Name the book slash film. Same name. <clears throat> Six. Number six, name the central character and ultimate hero in A Tale of Two Cities, who was a cynical, drunken, depressed, but brilliant barrister, hopelessly in love with Lucy Manette. Seven. In Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice, what character poses as the lawyer Balthazar in the courtroom scene in which a pound of flesh is demanded to be taken from Antonio? Ooh. Number eight, what is the unsettlingly popular quote from Shakespeare's Henry VI, part two, concerning members of the legal community? I don't need the exact quote, but a close approximation. All right, we're getting close. Number nine, the 1960 play, A Man for All Seasons, written by Robert Bolt, later a very successful film, concerns what Tudor era lawyer? Mm -hmm. One more. And finally, number 10, who is the main historical character in Hilary Mantel's award-winning book trilogy that started with Wolf Hall? All righty. Any questions before we go away? And I need to find you breakout rooms. No questions. They're all asleep. No, no, no. It's straight. All right. We're all Go off, go off to your rooms. Karen is in four.
I'd be really good at this Which one. And that's the only one I know. And I will Which one do you know? Great Expectations, isn't it? I think. Unless somebody was arguing. Great Expectations is one possibility. I don't well, know. Number, number two is the only, number two is, I think, the only one. I, isn't that Atticus Finch? Ooh, yeah. Right. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Yep. I'm gonna go grab some. That's pizza. the only one I knew too, Alan. <laughs> so I had to, I had to get it in quick while I could. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I I wanted to do the same because there's not many I can put my name on. <laughs> Scott, Scott Turo, number two, three. Scott Turo. Yeah. Number five is the verdict. Did someone know what no number one is? Well, I don't think I thought great expectations, but I don't think that's the one. And I remember the whole story, and I've read it, and I know the story. They they in inherited a whole bunch of money. And it goes to court, and the court and the court fees and the arguing ends up they get nothing. I like and I like the way number five is written. Did it was it was Gandhi playing Frank Galvin in that movie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wondered about that. <laughs> but I don't. So I don't think it's great. Ex, I, it could be great expectations because there was definitely a, a lawyer in there. But I think it was the one I'm thinking of, and I can't remember the name of it. The less popular um, one of his books. There's Pickwick Papers. Pickwick Papers. Um, yeah, could be. I don't remember. I'm just that. trying to name some. I don't know. You know, trying to trigger your brain, Gail. I know. Let's, let's I, I all of them and come back. Wow, you guys are doing good. Oh, Maybe. Rumpole, that's right. Yeah, Rumpole, I knew immediately. That yeah. one I really Rumpole did. Rumpole of know. the Bailey. Yeah. Does anybody know what that quote is in number eight? I don't think it's very important. First we kill all the lawyers. Yeah, first yeah, we kill that's the lawyers it. is what I thought. Where, who, who coined the phrase, the law's an ass? Never that was also that. Shakespeare, probably. Yeah. This one is the famous one, I think. Oh, you guys are good. And a man for all seasons is good grief. How can I not know this? That's not like Thomas More, is it? Thomas yeah. More, yes. That's it name. is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it is definitely Thomas More. I love that movie. Okay. Okay. Number 10 is, oh, God, I just started. Who's the English guy that that? Yep, that's who it was. It was him. It was with Henry VIII. Ask, ask Mike. They're probably related. No, no, it's he. There were two of them, and one of them actually was a dictator for a while. Uh when they didn't have a king after the great, the, they killed the king. Oh, you're talking about that Dan Cornwall? It wasn't I mean, him. That. It was somebody who was after Charles. It was um. Con, con, um Cromwell. 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 Oliver. Yeah. Oliver. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. Oh, I kind of knew that. Oh, not Oliver. Just it just it's a different Cromwell. There are several. That's Cromwell. Yeah. You guys did good. Okay, I'm hitting something up on the show. I don't know that one. So we're missing one, six, and seven, huh? God. Well, I know can, the story. can you scroll yeah, down, are... Gail? Can you scroll down just so we can see what number one is too? While you got, so we get them all together. Yeah, That's up. That's up, Alan. Whatever. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, are you no? Are you scrolling are... down or are you scrolling up? Which way? Do, what question do you want to see? No, we got them there. I just we're we're just debating whether it's the scrolling down or scrolling up. Well, I didn't. I did it the wrong way because I thought she was. You were asking for that. That's what I know. That's we what have I asked. Pickwick Papers there now. 
So yeah. you, I was just naming some more obscure Dickens to see. Yeah, it's a more obscure Dickens. Remember. I don't, and I know the Pickwick Papers, but I don't remember if that was the title because my memory is hopeless. But oh. um, if that was, if anybody has read the Pickwick Papers and remembers it, that I know that's the one with the story. That story. The whole story is about how he keeps telling them everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be fine, and they have all these great expectations right, about what's going to happen. And uh, in the end, all the money goes to lawyer fees. Yeah, I, I don't think that's great expectations. No, it's not great expectations for sure. If it's that mm. great expectations, I don't remember a lawyer in there. Great yeah. expectations. I don't either. It's not about a lawyer. That and I don't think all about ever... the lawyer, but I'm not sure Pickwick Papers is right. And if I hear the right one, I'll probably go, of course. Yeah, that's why I was trying to name some. I Bleak was just saying, but I can't remember. Bleak House. Bleak House. I think... oh, do you think it's Bleak House? I think that it was is those the public next... Pickwick Papers, right? I don't know. I just was yeah, naming like more. Bleak House. It's like huh? super long, so it probably has a lot of stuff in it. Well, this is the yeah. theme of the whole story. But I think I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, let's go to Tale of Two Cities and Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. Merchant Six of Venice, isn't seven. that Shylock? Shylock, yeah, that's probably right. I don't remember it, but Shylock is definitely a lawyer in Shakespeare. I remember that scene too. I am so hopeless with names. Okay. The central character and hero of a tale. And of I know that cities. one too, but I don't know the name. It's Nicole Drunk and Depressed. It's the, the far better thing I've done than I've ever done before, guy. And, you know, it's been so long since I've read these books. And I think I've read all of them. And I had a year of Shakespeare in college. This is the one where he gives up his life and, and, and trades with someone and he dies so the other guy can go because, because he's, in, he's in love with her. But I don't remember his name. I remember the story. Do you know any any of the Dickens? Because I'm torn between I know the story, but I don't know which what the name of the book. Is it is it Pickwick Papers or Bleak House? Well, I thought it was Great Expectations. But then, I don't remember the lawyer in Great Expectations. Uh Great Expectations. You know, it might be wrong because I don't remember a Sir one Lush, I, Lusher, the, Lusher. The one I'm remembering you, is one that I, I don't remember the name, but I, the one I'm a lawyer, I'm sorry, I'm remembering was the, the lawyer comes and tells these poor kids that they look, inherited a whole bunch of money. And all through the story, he's talking to them and they're talking to them and they're having fights with each other over the money. And finally, by the end of the story, all the money has gone to lawyer fees. Mm. That's the whole point of the story. Mm. That sounds so, like a good yeah. So they fought over I've never heard that. They get nothing. I've never heard of that. He gets all the funds. Oh, interesting. I think it's probably going to be Bleak House, which probably means it's big with Pacers. So I'm always wrong when I have a feeling like that. You overthink it. Bleak House. What I vote for. Number seven. Bleak House. I've never heard of that. It's an obscure story. Yeah. Okay, six. We need six. We have Shylock for six. Oh no, that's seven. Yeah. Six. Was in City. Yes. Do you remember the lawyer's name? Never read it. I read the Brothers Karamaza. I read the story. I just don't remember names. I can tell. Yeah, I, can, I, yeah, I, I don't even plot. I, I can, can tell quote, you. The quote at the end as he goes willingly to be executed. I don't, but I don't know. I don't know his name. It's all in the first person, so his name isn't even mentioned a lot, I don't think. But it mm. probably wasn't. I just don't remember.
we didn't do great with your category, Peggy. But I, I actually Sorry. know I know one of the answers, which is for me a big deal. You have more than one. You have a number of them. Oh, at least 500 from what I can see on the screen. They did really good. I, I was out of the room. Oh, no, you did great. This was a category I should have known. That's why I feel bad. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's not really law. It's No, it's, it's, no, it's literature. Right back, you guys. But the literature part, I wouldn't know it because of law. I would know it because of because these are the kinds of literature I like to read. Ooh. But I don't remember their names. I remember the story. I could tell you the plot. I could tell you what happened, but I don't remember their names. I just remember Tale of Two Cities is the French Revolution. Oh, yeah, it's so baby. long yeah, ago I read all these things. So anyway, when uh, Robin passed the bar, I gave her as a gift a T-shirt with that quote from uh, uh, Henry the Henry the Sixth, Bye. Henry the Sixth, Part Two. Yeah, everybody wants to give us those gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, yeah. is everybody ready? Are we ready for answers? Is yeah. Susan back? Do we need her? No, no, we're ah. ready. No, we don't need her. <laughs> we need her for scores, so, okay. Number one is Bleak House. Often considered to be Dickens's finest novel. It really is a great novel. Atticus Finch. I think a lot of people got Atticus Finch. Number three, Scott Turow. Oh, shit. A much better writer than John Grisham. That's right. Number four is Horace Rumpel, or you could use Rumpel of the Bailey. Ooh, um, Leo McKern was yeah. Rumpel. Oh, he was in The Prisoner. Yeah. 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 Number five is The Verdict. My personal favorite lawyer movie. Great film. Number six is Sydney Carton was Carton. The, of the character who oh, was the solicitor. Number seven, Portia was the character who dressed up and went in and argued for the quality of mercy is not strained, yada, yada. So number eight, the first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. How much of that do we need? Just let's yeah. kill all the lawyers. Yeah, right. we just put kill yeah. all the lawyers. So, hey, you guys, I don't want to have YouTube getting all freaked out. That was just a book. Uh, that was just a quote. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is in quotes. You know how YouTube is. It's like Facebook. <laughs> Number nine was Sir Thomas More. Ah, it is only one O. I Yay. was right. Yeah, and there's no spelling requirement either, so it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> And number 10 is Thomas Cromwell. <gasps> Two Toms in a row. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, I think I got tired. <laughs> number one, a song by the Commodores. What was seven? Who, who was the guy that played uh, Rumpole? It was Leo, uh, uh, Leo, Leo McCurn. Leo McCurn. Yeah. He Leonard was also Portia. in Man for All Seasons. When you showed the poster there, his name was in the title. Yeah, he wasn't that. He, I think he plays Cromwell, in fact. If I remember correctly. I'm going to put the answers in the chat. McKern. Anything with Leo McKern is probably good. Yeah. So Friend, whoever has Deborah on their team, she keeps having internet issues. If you ever uh, acquire the audiobook versions of Rumpole, a friend of mine did the reading for recorded book sync. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Patrick Tull. Why does it say number eight says Dick? Oh, Dick is the um the character that says that. Oh, really? Well that's Name is Dick. Dick. <laughs> and that tells you a lot about that is sentiment. He a lawyer? 
No, he's he's a peasant. He's just a no. dick. The a peasant who wanted to kill a normal his dick. Is it, yeah, it's the peasant's revolt. So. Right. Okay, so let me just make sure I got all the answers. Um, Leak House, that's what it was. Good job. My team knew it. Gail knows her her, her, her stuff. Okay. <clears throat> she knew her Bleak House. Never heard of it before. It sounds fascinating. Let's go to the scores. Letting it all hang out. Da, 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 da. You guys are all patiently waiting for me to show the scores. All right. So we've got a spread of 13 to 20. That's pretty pretty significant. Would you prefer Musk Tower? You're going to have a bigger spread. We got three. Wow. Okay. So no smoke, no gun, just a backfiring clown car. Wait. That is a really good team name there. <clears throat> um, there's a term for a president like Trump, but hopefully not a second one. Eight. Eight. Ooh. Okay. Full frontal nerdity. And unfortunately, because we got Thomas Cromwell's brother Oliver, we only got seven. <gasps> oh. Okay. And Wrong enough Cromwell. embarrassed Canadians in the Golden Commode. Ten. And oh. oh, damn, Cat, you're kicking ass. That's due to there. Bill. That's due to Bill. Bill. Is that Bill? Knows- yeah, he knows all the answers. He knows his lawyers. Mm. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> very, very good. Good category, like Peggy. Peggy, you <laughs> pull that out too, just at the last minute, or unless you'd already had it written, but we don't have to know that. We'll just think of you highly that you threw that together in the last five minutes. It mm. was really fun. Thank you. That was good. That was, it was good. good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. That was a good really good category. Yeah. That was a wonderful category. Like wonderful. <laughs> Bob <laughs> isn't too happy. That's sarcasm. Right? <laughs> Letting you guys all know. So uh Deborah will hopefully be back if she can get her internet back here together. And she was on team five. So that must be the reason why you guys had a three. Yeah, Deborah that's gonna be Deborah sad back. if she was a ringer and knew all these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I text her and tell her that. Okay, so Adrian, you got your powers. Mm. Well, that's cool. All right. So my category is Salem, mm. Massachusetts. Oh, and, oh, this might be good. So yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully, and if you're, uh, you know, I'm going to do a shameless. Pl- you got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it. I stopped talking as soon as I saw that. Uh, I'm going to do a shameless plug. Uh, if you listen to the Skeptic Zone. You're going to be able to get most of these. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Finally. Fair mass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. The first one is not from the skeptic zone, but hey, you know, they'll come soon. In 2007, Salem City Council eased its restrictions on the number of psychics allowed to practice. The number of psychic licenses dramatically increased by 2010. I couldn't find anything past 2010, unfortunately. Hmm. State the number of licensed psychics in 2010. You know, they may have capped it there. Who knows? <laughs> Plus or minus 10. Licensed. licensed. That's amazing. Yeah. They, they, apparently what was happening before, uh, based on the articles, is that the a lot of psychics were working underground in Salem. They weren't, and they weren't getting taxed, et cetera. So this made them legal and they wow. had to pay tax. Amazing. And they had to pay a licensing fee. The all, almighty dollar. Yep. What is the population of Salem as of 2020 when the last census was? Plus or minus a thousand. How many people were executed following the Salem witch trials? No plus or minus. Got to get that one right on. So one of these people was not executed, but was found guilty. 
The person initially avoided execution because of a medical condition, but later avoided execution because the town came to their senses and realized the trials were unfounded. Who was this person? And uh, a little shout out to Janine here because she should know one of those people she, who is a relative of hers, I found out. That explains a lot. Well, Janine's a witch. <laughs> no, I mean, she kicks ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all but one of those executed were hung. So everybody was hung except for one person. And the, and the person's name was G Giles Corey. And how was he executed? Describe it. Or, or name it. One of the two. Detail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what year were the Salem witch trials ha held? I give you four choices. A, 1617, B, 1643, C, 1692, and D, 1775. And all of those dates are significant to Salem in some way, one of them being the trials. On episode number 780 of the Skeptic Zone podcast, I described, what the heck? What the I think heck? I'm supposed to say, <laughs> a, a sore, sore. A little typo that didn't get caught in the first round. Uh, it's a store. So I described a store. A store. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, I described, oh, I'm going to type that wrong now again. I was going to answer paper cut. The yeah. Magic school bus. <laughs> So I describe a store we went into where a class was being held. What were they making in this class? That's cool. <laughs> and I tried to make these so that, you know, even if you didn't listen to this show, you can still figure them out maybe. So in the same episode of the Skeptic Zone podcast, I listed some humorous store and restaurant names. And yes, there is a U in humorous. Which of the following is not one of the names in Salem that I listed? A, Partridge in a Bear Tree gift shop. B, Double Double Toil and Trouble bakery and coffee shop. C, Wicked Good Books. Or D, Restaurant and Spirits pub. One of the museums that I did not have time to visit, but still mentioned, I still mentioned it in the episode, claimed that it was the only one of its kind in the world. What item did this museum showcase? Think Salem. <laughs> That's all I can say. Number 10. In one of the stores that I went in, they were selling a homemade necklace made by Elliot that contained a number of ingredients, including sea salt with purified and which that purified and protected from what I don't know, charcoal that provided growth and healing, incense ashes for transforming and cleansing, lavender for calming and love, coffee grounds for grounding and creativity. And this particular batch of necklaces was charged with energy from what? Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> I listened to that, but I'm not positive. I listened close enough, or I listened to <laughs> something else, because I'm not sure. Guys, I may not make it through this round, so have a good night if I don't see you afterwards. Bye. Bye, Mike. Bye. Did anybody besides me listen to the Skeptic Zone? 
Uh -huh. I did. Nope, sorry. I can't. You got it then. Let's think. Well, well I hope. Okay. I'm pretty dumb today. Some of these I'm not, I can't quite remember. All right. Uh, number six, the year was 1692. Well, we all know that. I didn't know that. I've got like probably seven or eight of these for sure. Ooh. Okay, you start with one. So yeah. the oh, number one. Well, one would be a guess. That's one of the ones I don't have. Plus I, or minus 10. Know. I would guess 75. Oh, see, I was thinking more like 250. Okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> How about somewhere in the middle? Because a plus or minus 10, yeah. the answer is going to be around 100-ish. Cindy, what's your vote? No idea, but it should be more than 10. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's more like 90-something. or. Well, how big is Salem? But then that's the next question. Uh -huh. It's last I remember hearing, and by the way, I have like two ancestors who lived in Salem at the time of the witch trials, so I'm feeling very famous right now. <laughs> um, but last I heard when I was looking through genealogy, it was around like 43, 44,000-ish. Yeah, I don't think it's huge. You're right. I, no, you know, it's not. If, uh, yeah, 44, 45,000. Lots of people visit, but not. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, say 40, 45,000. Okay. But in order to go back to one, if they want to license the psychic in order to get them to pay taxes so the city gets more money, it's got to be more than 90. I mean, it's got to be worthwhile, right? Well, yeah. 120? 150. Okay, 120, 50. That's question All one. All right. I'll hack mine by 100. Okay, we said the population of Salem is what? 40, uh, 44, 45,000. 44,000. Uh, let's make it 45,000 just for the, make it make it more even. 45,000. Okay. How many people were executed? It was 20. 20. 20. Okay. Good job. 19 were hanged. The other one was pressed. Pressed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, number four, is it Rebecca Nurse? I or, was thinking I with it was Elizabeth Rebecca Crocker, Nurse, but, but there was a memorial to Rebecca Nurse. So, I'm thinking it's B, it's the Reverend. No, it was a woman. It was Elizabeth. Say so you're pretty sure, Bill. Um, not taught. I'm pretty totally sure it was positive. a reverend who was who was charged and but and convicted but not hung. I'm I'm not. I don't even have a good guess. Well, because Rebecca just, Nurse was definitely found decide. guilty, but I believe she was killed. Karen Karen said, "How will we know, How will we decide?" Um. Well, they're related to related well, to um, Janine, and I feel like I've heard this before. So, what do you guys guess? I want to go with Elizabeth Proctor, but she was the one Elizabeth that was accusing also. them. She was what? She was the one accusing them. Oh, was she uh, Elizabeth Proctor? Yes, that's why you know the name. Oh. She was one of the main accusers, was the proctors. And Elizabeth Nurse was one of the people who was had a memorial, yes. right? Yes, yeah, she was hung. Rebecca Nurse. Yeah, and so it must be George Burroughs, yeah. because then We're, John Proctor was... I'm pretty to... sure it's the Reverend. Okay, uh, that's, yeah, that's Burroughs. So B. B is in Bacula. Okay, got it. Um, five is pressed. Yeah. Okay. We got yeah, pressing, where they put a big hunk of wood on you and then they lay stones on top. Ah. And he actually asked for more. 
What? He was being sixty nine because that because be yes, that would prove that he wasn't a witch. Two, we it would prove that number witch. seven is witch broom. Yeah. Oh, which what is it? A broom. Yeah. Try and get him to con to confess, and he refused to confess. And they thought if they tortured him, he would confess. And so technically, his death is down as a suicide because he's just like, bring it on. I'm not going to say that I'm a witch. That was Giles. Wow. So, okay, so the... I don't know a lot, but I know some witchy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so she of the places that witchy. she went to, um, I think that it might have been that is not on here, Partridge in a Bear Tree? Well, that'd be a Christmas shop. Yeah. It sounds like something from... That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Double double I, I was thinking trouble it, bakery and coffee. It was shop. A or B. Deborah's like all I upset. I thought I remember you mentioning the. Excuse me. You keep breaking up, cat. You keep freezing and then she's coming back. My internet sucks. Oh. Yeah, she's having problems with the weather over there. Oh. Um, I. Okay, let's go double B. It's A double or B for number eight. Do double, double toil and trouble big green coffee shop because A sounds like it would be a tourist shop in a, in a, in a small, you know, tourist shop like that. My first instinct was B. Yeah. Okay. That seems so obvious. Kind of seems just too obvious. Right. Okay. So nine of all the museums that I didn't have time to mention. What was the only kind in the world? What did she say? She, I don't know. The original hanging noose? Isn't it a witch museum? Yeah. The original. I'm just making a wild guess, but the original hanging noose that they hung all the witches with? Deborah's well, you see... The problem with that is they didn't use the proper hangman's knot. Uh, what they would do uh, is they would tie the rope around their neck and spin them. And it would oh. often take like 15 minutes for them to die because it wouldn't break their neck because they didn't use a hangman noose. Uh, so they oh, suffer. I don't think it's a noose. The things you know, cat. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No lawyers in literature, but I know witchy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what museum seems to be one of its kind? I'm trying to remember. Was it like a candy shop or something? Like a museum of Pez or something? I don't remember. It doesn't have to be witches. It could well, have been that's true. I think it's a witch museum, isn't it? I, I, I can't remember if she even said. I don't know. Okay. Do we know 10? It's the dungeon. Because there was the witch's house that she didn't have time to visit. Nine. Nine okay. is the dungeon? Which is a museum. Nine is the dungeon. Oh. Nine showcased the dungeon? The museum showcased the dungeon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There was, only, there was only one dungeon, and that's where they were all kept. Oh, okay, okay. Right. What? I thought they were. Said she saw the little cell where they had there. all the people standing. Why? Went yeah. there. Yeah, she did yeah. go there because she said that they saw the the cell. The cells. And, and all those people were in it. And they couldn't fit. You couldn't even sit. You had to stand. So she must have gone to that one. So it's something else. She didn't go to then, the witch's house though. Yeah, so she did go to the dungeon, so, so but it wasn't in that museum. museum that is a one-of-a-kind witch's house? That doesn't make sense. Is 10 moonlight or crystals? I'd say crystals. Okay, I don't I don't have a clue. I don't remember. I don't either. I don't remember I Elliot. Um, well, that's why I, I say these for nine. You but say then that's, 
I say a noose for nine, but that's just kind of a wild Museum guess. of nooses? <laughs> you call kind it with the plural of nooses. Is it nieces? No, nooses. kind of noose. Nooses. No, it's just noose. <laughs> Okay, Mises. wait a second. It says, what did the museum showcase? Right. Okay, I read it wrong. Um, but it still says it's one of a kind. What could they have? What could they have showcased? Well, I guess a noose would have some... To well, be honest... Cat noose. said it wasn't a noose. It was um, a twist. Be, by, by the way, guys, just to be honest, I told this to another group about number nine. The museum claimed it's the only one in the world, but I don't know if that's true. It just was written on the placard that okay. it was the only one but in the it's, world. It's so. something unusual then. Still. It, so it, it's, yeah. a, it's a place you did not go, right? Correct. So it's not the dungeon. Since you said you went to the dungeon last time we were talking. It's kind of weird. And it's not Pez. Hmm. She's doing it. She's holding it off really well. Um, she said, think Salem, so is Salem I'll, the first place of yeah. Pez? <laughs> museum, uh, what did this museum showcase? The stone the guy was pressed with? No, we would well, there's a lot. He got There's pressed a lot of stones. A lot of stones. Um, yeah, because they kept adding stones to him and over days, and that's over how he got days. pressed today. God, God, ew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know disturbing facts. This is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what could he have shown? I'm grossing everyone out, Adrian. <laughs> Uh, not, everybody in the has a town. I'm closed all around cats. Okay. Um, oh, we can't lose nine. We've we're on a perfect streak here. <laughs> I figured that this one might break that just because of the nature of it being a little different. <gasps> Could it have been so so close on Andy? so many molasses? Um so what items are associated with Salem? Besides witches and and ropes they, they got hung with. Okay. okay. Can I still anyone think hear it's me now? House. Yeah, Karen. Yeah. Okay. I have a okay, I don't know if this is true, but Salem used to be a brand of cigarettes too. So just saying that. And I think she said that the bakery was called Double Double Toil and Trouble. Didn't she say that last week or the week before? So you if want to switch that up to? If, no, if nobody else remembers that, go with what you're thinking because I am menopausal. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I don't remember. Well, that one is either A or B. Maybe. Right. Well, what if it's restaurant and spirits pub? She had something like a spirits, uh, uh, but maybe it wasn't that exactly. Maybe it's D. We have we need to decide quickly. To decide. What are put, we saying for number put nine? For nine, let's put witch's broom. Right? Okay. And okay. then for for I would change I would change <laughs> eight to to D. That's a we only somebody needs to decide quickly. This isn't my team normally, so no, I think D is you want to go with it's B? either A or B. Okay, go with B then. That's what we have. He was my out. <laughs> I have to be harder on these on these things because this is just it just goes to show how memory is not great, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, not and, great. And, and what was interesting too is I talked quite extensively about this during trivia last week as well. That's what worries me because Karen came in. Finally, she said she was able to say something. She said, I think Karen, I think that, um, oh, here she comes back. She said, I think Adrian was talking about this last week. And I'm going, oh, yep. shit, should we change your answer? <laughs> and I'm glad, really glad my team did not listen to Susan about changing your answer on that last one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Good All advice right. often. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for question. Shocker. Don't one. listen to Susan's uh, answers. <laughs> okay. Well, there's certain okay, areas. Over. There's certain areas that you, there's certain areas that you know stuff about and that yeah. you just and have to know. Most of them I don't. Know. Well, and, <laughs> and just, see, I don't know if this is true or not, but I remember a long time ago being in a professional development and they were telling us to teach our students that if you're not sure of the answer, stick with the first one because 65% of the time you're going to be right. So if and you're, you know if, what? If, you want to hear something, Adrian? <laughs> that is a fallacy. That is a common sure fallacy that people tell teachers because yeah. at one psych American Psychological Association convention, they had over 30 papers. Wow. It showed from kindergarten to graduate school on exams that you're more likely to cross out a wrong answer and make it right than the well, opposite. There you go. But the problem but, is when you get back the paper later, you say, why did I change that? When you get that's it right. Right, when you do it the wrong way, when you yeah. do it the other way, you don't. Even it's know. the old confirmation bias. So I'm not surprised to hear that. So but in this particular case, anecdote of one, it was true. So there you go. It must be true. <laughs> and you know, I'm teasing. All right. So for question number one, the answer was, is 92 uh, psychics. Oh, I said 92. <laughs> she said 100. I did hear 100. I did. Uh, I said, let's make it 100. <laughs> and I think Bill said 75. 92. So 75 were licensed to work in stores and 17 were licensed to work as private contractors wherever they wanted. And that's a total of 92. So anywhere between 82 and 102. And the strategy being plus or minus, what did I say? Um, plus or minus 10. 10. You know, it's not going to be a huge number. Well, you know, that's interesting. That's an interesting way of finding out how much psychics actually make. Mm. This is probably a legitimate number. Well, probably yep. close to a legitimate number because they're having to be, they're licensed. Yeah, exactly. And the population, and I did say this in the oh, yeah. podcast, 44,480. So anywhere between 43,480 to 45,480. Kind of a hard one to get because I know those oh, kind of details are hard. I think oh. it was. Oh. We, we were so close. <laughs> close. Can we make and that plus or minus 2,000, please? <laughs> yeah, that's no. pretty close, get actually. That? Did anybody get that? It's similar to my hometown, but I was still too high. You know, I said that. I said it's it's similar to Kevin's hometown. Mm. <laughs> Very close, though, Kevin. Well, we that was a good guess. Five, you, we were forty-four so five. Well done. To that range. Five's good. So the next one, which is how many people were executed, and everybody seemed to recognize it wasn't a big number. It was twenty. Mm. Oh, now that one has no plus or minus. And that one had no plus or minus. Carl, you needed to kill one more person. And the 19, <laughs> I, the reason the 19, oh. I didn't want to do plus or minus is a lot of people think it was 19. It was 19 people who were hung and one person oh. who was executed oh. the other way. So that's why I couldn't do a plus or minus. That makes sense. Um, no. No, no, we don't agree with that. We don't agree with that. You got the answer right. What so a great, uh, great, great so, question. So, so, so 20, but only 19 of them were well hung. Yes, that's uh, right. <laughs> oh, ooh. all right. Number four. Answer oh, is D. Oh, yeah, oh no you finally. guys. You could have, if you Elizabeth knew about the pregnancy, Proctor? you should have listened Elizabeth to me. Proctor at, because they discovered she was pregnant. That's why the medical condition that okay, happened. Yeah, she bled her belly. She bled her what? She pled her belly. She did. <laughs> that's 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 the term. Mm -hmm. when, I'm when, actually so shocked. Adrian, that, I'm shocked that that mattered. Why didn't they just not say it's the son of Satan and do well, it? Well, because anyway? they said that the baby was an innocent, and they did not want to kill no, an innocent. They didn't go with the son of Satan. Mm -hmm. They never watched was the, the Omen, Reverend uh, not yeah, found Rosemary's guilty. Rosemary's baby. And, and Bonnie got and Mary Reed did the same thing when they were be, going to be hung. No, the re Reverend was found guilty and was executed. It was one of the people executed. And so Je uh, Janine is related to Elizabeth Proctor? No, the very first person on the list, Nancy. Nurse. Rebecca, nurse. Rebecca Nurse. Rebecca Nurse, right. Rebecca Nurse. I said that I think, Proctor was the one who was accusing people. I thought elizabeth proctor was 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 rebecca nurse's sister married it, sister i think that might be right it could be right yeah there was there were some sisters involved for sure and i've forgotten who was who 
but yeah, you may be right with that. Number five. Uh, the oh, answer Kat is... was telling us all the details of this. You don't have to go into it. <laughs> and I don't, you don't have to have the term pressing. You can just say piled stones on top of him until he died. That would be fine. Okay. So I'll say anything around that. I would, and... I would, I would call that crushed. Yeah, crushed yeah. is fine. Crushed we is fine. We put crushed by stones, but yep, yeah. that's yeah. fine. Also put pressed in parentheses because that was yep. specifically mentioned. Yeah, that was the that's that, the actual that, term that, that was, was the used. Term, yeah. And so you not uh, likely. Adrian, you should have asked like how many were burned. Three days. Oh. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> yeah, that's Zero. Right. Zero. Zero. Yeah. That's what everybody thinks is that the witches of Salem were all burned. Oh, oh, I thought they were. They were I never thought of them. They were burned in the UK. They were not burned in Salem. Right. That's true. But Thomas More was burned. Not longer than just crushing does. Just so you know. And um, for this uh, one here, the year that this happened was 1692. I think most people got that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I I knew it was 1600s, but I wouldn't have known. But yeah. It was the year. And this next one, what did I witness? It was decorative witches' brooms. So yeah. if you said witches' uh, brooms, that's good enough. We switched it. Oh, we, switched. we had that, and we switched it. I heard some very creative. Well, answers. we switched it twice, so yeah. <laughs> we had to go back two answers to have the correct. That's right. One. <laughs> brooms the candles to bread. Yeah. And this one, this next one, the only one that I did not see was B. Double, double, oh, toil and trouble, bakery and coffee All shop. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of, that was a bit of a reference I, to, of course, Shakespeare, but also to double doubles in Canada with Tim Hortons. So that was a little bit of a, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> nothing a to cheekiness. It sounded like a real place to me. <laughs> What's a well, double a good double job, at Tim, Tim Hortons? Yeah, that's right. What Tim is Hortons. a double double at Tim Hortons? Oh, what is it? It's it's uh, double sugar and double double cream. Okay, because that's uh, called the regular in Boston. <laughs> and Outburger has got a double double, which is a uh, two meat patty hamburger. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because the double double is coffee. It's a way of ordering coffee in Canada. Oh, beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and sesame seeds. That's just a single double. <laughs> Number nine, and people were having trouble with this one. It was oh, Ouija board. Oh, 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 they're psychics, right? They're all the psychics. Oh, yeah, apparently it has. <laughs> He's and wearing Kat, the Ouija board. Good. I know so it is Kat, plural. On, Kat. <laughs> we thought we thought it was singular based on the question, but it's plural. Oh well, Ouija board. It's called the Ouija board museum. So I guess now that yeah. you say it, I, I, I don't remember this. It, it, there was some confusion of whether the museum was one of our kind or the thing in the museum was one of our kind. Right. Oh. That, that's where we were trying to I, look through your well, wording. And gotcha. Also, because also item was singular. So that yep. was like this one special item. It, it is a Ouija board. There's one Ouija board in the museum? No, I don't know how many there are. I didn't go in. I didn't, she's, don't you guys nitpick on her now? we'll pick it. as many nits as we want no i don't want her to have a headache uh, yeah, there, there you go around, there you go really yeah can't have that see cat i was telling you about the pedants wasn't i there you go yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the last one and you as long as you said moonlight or something uh, like that, yes. you got oh, it. Did. It was the super blue moon on August 30th in oh, particular, but I, I would accept moonlight. That. Who's Elliot? Uh, uh, Elliot, I don't know. <laughs> it was on the card. It said made by Elliot. <laughs> wow. I posted a link to uh Neil deGrasse Tyson explaining why they thought the witches were witches. Because they had cats. <laughs> I'm in trouble then. I am too. The, well, that, they that didn't wasn't get sick. the case. That wasn't the case for the Salem witches, from what I understand. It was a well, bunch of no. kids who who started accusing some of the adults, particularly one of the caretakers of witchcraft. Uh, and... As my as my sister, who is a historian of historian of science, says, whenever scientists talk about history, they get it wrong. There you go. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably got it wrong then. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he, even, even the episodes of Cosmos, which you know have the stories of the scientists, but she said, "No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong." Oh. They just don't properly vet it. All right, so let's go to next week before we get started with the answers. I mean, the <laughs> score because I have your full attention. Do we have volunteers for next week? 
Well, I'm only doing the bonus, so I'll do a category if you want. Okay, and so next week, and if you have, if you want to go for the following weeks or fill up any of the others, I have. I, I can do a bonus a, for you, Susan. We have quite a few up here. Look at this. I mean, I've even got down here to the game that Ben's going to be running while we're in Wow, I, Psycon is getting close. Yeah, so if you guys have <laughs> the need to want to put something in these columns, I'm quite amenable to that. Well, Susan, if you have no one, I'll do it, I'll do it again. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait and see in case somebody I volunteers. If not, Romero is volunteering himself. Romero. All right, Romero. Okay, I'll do it. That's good. Okay, so Jamie, at the moment, I've got you down for uh, October 12th in case, but I'll move you okay. up if nobody else volunteers. Okay, okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, I, I, I had an idea. Yeah. I, I'm running out of ideas for, for categories. I've done a lot and I've run a lot. But what I was thinking is if anybody doesn't want to do one, but has a particular song or movie <laughs> or person or category, send it to me. And then when I, I get five, know. wait a minute, when then when I get five, I'll put those five people on different teams and I'll run it and they won't know that they get in their category. They won't know when they get it, get it. That way it's one person will be an expert at that particular thing and everybody else. So everybody will have one expert in the five. Well, what if they don't all show up on that day? Well, that's the thing. I need as many, I need people to send me their ideas and then I'll just do them in enough categories for each one. And whoever's there that night. What's going on, Hector? You know what I mean? That's an interesting idea. It that's would be an a mystery, idea, mystery Kevin. category. it will be like a double mystery because I, you won't know that I'm doing your category until you start hearing the questions. Well, Ben's going to be running a whole thing. Maybe you should have him run it and you do that. That'd be interesting. He can handle all the computer stuff and he can do that stuff or something. But then again, we're going to have the least amount of people on that night. Right. Hey, Susan, Susan yes. well, right after the the score is here, can I, just, I may have shared this before, but we're talking about uh, witchcraft and wizardry. I want to just share a quick video after you do the score. Oh, I here. thought you were going to tell us that you wanted a category next week. Okay. Yeah. So let's just he score. The whole we thing are at wow, sixteen, and that's because Deborah was on a round. So now Deborah's back. So what did you guys get, Musk Tower? We we're, we're improving. We got five. Wow! All right, Deborah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> no smoke, no gun, just a backfiring con car. We had five also. Oh. <laughs> More skeptic zone. For you guys there's a uh, we, we wanted to fill in for rob's team so we got the three this round <laughs> three wow mm. full frontal we got movie. four we got four what? number what? one no no oh i think i missed six you were correct but okay. you can leave the four in there because we got that too. So we got the four. Four and then four for full, for full frontal. frontal. Full frontal is four. <laughs> All right. So let's see the team I was on. Which Thank was you, team, for correcting me. Adrian's team. What do we get? Um, you were Hero. taking score, weren't you? Susan? <laughs> I, I have six as our score. All right. 36. Nice. You want to back me on that? It, that's what I would have guessed if 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 sounds right. Like, I also emotionally scarred you for life, so that should be a bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> I was scarred for life. I'm yeah, scarred, but then I've been. And, I and Susan, you always say you want us to be make it harder. There you go. I like it harder. That's <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, can I share something? Can I? Yeah, go ahead, please. All right, wait. If I, let me see if I can do do this right here. Um, uh should how do you i don't how do you get the sound you have um, to you, already, you have to hit the button the before you share go back no go okay back. stop right. and share and share stop the share. Right. okay now then share but at With the sound. very bottom it says you have to click a little button that says down share yeah okay optimize or whatever it is and er, Oh, I'm not getting any sound though. Because it's that's because you still turn it on. Don't have it turned on. Oh, this the What's that Harry you know? Potter thing. Oh my gosh, where did you get that done at? It's Disneyland, isn't it? Disney World, Harry Potter. Oh, that's cool. This is why I don't let him drive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's 
agree. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that boy, you can get that done. Now I gotta go to Disneyland. Two can fly a, a broom. <laughs> If you go visit the uh, the Warner Brothers studio, oh, is it Warner Brothers? <laughs> yeah, in London. In London. If, you, if, you ever, if you ever go there, that's very cute. That's oh. No driving for you, Robert. I'm saying good night. Oh, we're gonna lose you. Bye, Wendy. Wendy. Good night. It's gonna be Wendy, you stayed. Thank it's you good. for staying, Wendy. Yeah, she stayed. I didn't that's realize it. you stayed. I stayed, Adrian. Oh. It, it was. It was a. Uh, fun topic. Oh, it's a fun game. Is this, yeah, yeah. Is this me? Bye. 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 Bonus round is name five, 10 famous Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> <That's too bad. laughs> Places Wendy, people Wendy knows. No. All right. Here, here we go. <laughs> Bonus round. Here's the story. Uh oh. Of a lady. Play Wendy would probably have been really good. <laughs> Okay, so what I want you to do is to let me copy this into the chat. Oh, I'm saying it. Name. Hold on. Somebody muted me. Name the nine. Ma Am I muted? Can no. you hear me? Yeah. I just had a pop up that I'm muted. No. I'm muted. Name the nine main actors of the Brady Bunch or give the full character names. I'm going to make this easy, but you have to spell every one of their actual names properly, Jamie. Just Jamie. No one else I care about. For, so there's nine of them. For the 10th point, I name the one who is currently competing in season 32 of Dancing with the Stars, which is why I thought of this, because that was on the other day. You watch Dancing with the Stars? Yes, you know that because my wife and I do several forms of dancing. So we watch dancing with the On star. purpose, you watch it? <laughs> Go to your rooms. Is it entertaining? Is it good? If, if you like competitions about who can dance and who can't. Okay, Karen, let me put you in your room. I used to like So You Think You Can Dance. I never watched those dancing with the stars. I can't imagine. That's it's actually was really good. Okay. Um, you're muted, Susan. Well, I was saying, do you guys know any of these? <laughs> I know some. Well, he just he wants the character, right? Or does he want yeah name or the character? But the character's last name is Brady, so hard hard could that be? Mr. Well, Brady, Alice. This is Brady. Oh, oh yeah, and Brady. Alice. You know, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. That's about the only Marsha Brady. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Nine main actors, though. But he so, said. So, for example, it's not Alice, it's Ann B. Davis. Well, no, see, so you oh, want the oh. character names. He said the character names, not their real names. Yeah. Okay, so let me look at this again. Name the nine oh. main actors or give their full character names. Oh, that is really easy. So, okay. So one or the other, I guess. Somebody yeah. writing these down? Because I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the oldest boy is Greg Brady. Second yeah. one is Bobby. Bobby Brady? Is that right? No, it doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. And the And the little boy's name is Okay, we don't know. So, and the girls are Marsha, Cindy, Dan, and Jan, and Cindy. And the parents are named. I think Mike. Mike Brady, and her name that's Florence Henderson. We can just call her by her name. And then there's Anne B. Davis. Okay, now we just need the Dancing with the Star and the other two boys. I haven't watched this show in years. Yeah. Mm, Greg and Peter. Peter Brady sounds familiar. It was a Peter, yeah. Yeah, Peter sounds right. <clears throat> and the boy, that would be the middle one. He's probably always forgotten, poor guy. And then 
The beaver. <laughs> I don't think it's a beaver, Brady. Um, some stupid name like some boring name. Um, he'd be the same, about the same age as Cindy. Was her name Cindy? Cindy, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it would have been Cindy and... Okay, so which one's on Dancing with the Stars? Season I would bet 32? it might be Greg. 32! There have been 32 seasons of Dancing with the Stars. That's That's... That's surreal. They maybe have more than one season per year. Oh, that's possible, yeah. I mean, it's not like they have any um, there's any skill. I mean, right, their skill, but I mean writing or anything, you know, plots or anything. Oh, there probably is a little bit, but... Um, Rudy Giuliani. Did he, he do it? <laughs> really? No, no, he did that other one where he's got in the costume. Sarah Palin did one too, and they had to guess who the singer was. Oh, the mystery mm. singer or something like that. Yeah. I can't even believe I know that. I never watched any of those things. I think I saw a couple seconds of it. Um, I know Bill Nye was on Dancing with the Stars. That's the year I had chemo, uh, 2013, because he broke his ankle or something, and I was at uh the Tacoma conference and he had crutches. Because he'd, he'd broken his ankle or something. I remember that. But that's not helping us. Which of these, you think Greg would be the one? Wouldn't be one of the younger kids? So Greg has done a fair amount of stuff since that show. The others really haven't. That makes sense that, makes sense that he would do this. Isn't too. he like 110 or something? Um, I mean, I... Hard for me to guess. He was on The Surreal Life, which was a, a reality show about child stars and stuff like that. And that was about 10 years ago, and I would think he was in his 40s, maybe 50s then. So oh, 50s, 60s now. He could oh, probably dance. He doing it. Sure, he's still got knees. He's good to go. <laughs> he's dancing in a wheelchair. Does he have rhythm? Well, yeah. Break Brady. Part. Okay, so what is the name of the little boy? It's a common name. It's going to be probably one syllable. Or the middle one. Maybe the young one is Peter. Because right now we got Peter down. And cousin, cousin Oliver doesn't fit in here at all. Oh, yeah, he's not a main character, huh? You all done? You all done? We're trying to think of one more name. Did you guys get? Did you guys get the rules right? Because like one of the others, they didn't ask me the question, but now they're a little flummoxed about that. Like they think they can name, get two points if you bring, if you if if, if answer one is the character and answer two is the actor, they're going to get two points. No, no, that's, you that's can only, there's only nine people, so you I don't think we their thought name, that. Their name or their actor. Okay. We're not that confused. Okay. Okay. That's some Trump matter. logic right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should get four points for each one we need. Correctly, a uh, point for every letter in the name. Okay, so Peter, Greg, and it would be something like some kind of male name like that. Something just yeah, like Kyle or something. <laughs> was, Kyle's was there, too obscure. Was there a Ricky? All the other shows have Ricky, Ricky. Brady. No. Daniel. No. Matthew Brady. Peter Greg Matthew Matt Brady. Brady. No. Not Matt Matthew. Peter John Brady, Brady? no. John. James, um, Jim, Spencer, Spencer, <laughs> Ted Brady, Ted, Theodore, Teddy, um, Mike. No, that's, that's a the dad. Um, they didn't name any of their David? kids. After themselves. How about a Dave? Dave Brady? No, that doesn't sound. That sounds like a football player. <laughs> Um, Tony, Don, Don, yeah, Tom. Oh, that is a football player, isn't it? Um, Jerry, Jerry Brady. No, it doesn't. You know, it feels funny that we it's so sunk into our psychosis that we know that when we hear it, we'll know. It. Yeah, well, no, we got the girls right away. Yeah, um, Philip, uh, um, 
see. Carl. No, it's, it seems like it's like children's <laughs> like us. Jack. No. Alan. Um, Edward. Eddie. Ed, Eddie. Eddie. Fred. Mm -hmm. George. Harry. Henry. Pink. No. Bill. Mm -hmm. William. No. Larry. Oh, come on. We've got to come up with this name. It's got to be something just. It's Lee. I'm looking at Lee's name right here. Um, Richard, no, Dick Brady, Alan, Rob, could it be Rob? Paul, Paul Brady. I can't picture the middle one. Mm -hmm. I sort of do. Oh, I'm thinking of the baby. Oh, but that one's matters. Peter, I, I think. I keep saying Tom Brady, but I obviously don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greg's locked. I think Peter's the young one. But Steve or Steven. Steve. Who's the middle? I'm just thinking of one of those. Harry? Did the middle one do anything? What was like a scene with the middle one? <laughs> Doug? Eddie Haskell? Ed, Ed Brady. Um, John. Paul? Paul. Paul. Paul Brady. It would be something like that. Like a, you know, very white name. Yeah. Let's do Paul for nothing Let's else. Paul, yeah. Paul, but we had 70 seconds. Come on, you guys. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can. Uh -huh. okay. There a Bob? Bob Brady? No, that's too. That's what we're going to Ready for bed? Gene, uh, <laughs> Harold, <laughs> poor kid, poor kid. No, everybody forgets him. Probably made a million reason. dollars off of it. <laughs> um, no idea. I, we'll just go with what we have. I, it's it's got to be close. I don't see it either. Wow, that was hard. We couldn't remember one of them for nothing. Yeah, I, I told several. I was kind of shocked because I thought everyone was going to get at least an eight on this. But no, some teams no, didn't we, know anything we, about we this. We probably so will they, get an eight, but it's just one person's here. name that is just, we went through the, we're like, it's a white boy's name. It's a white name, very simple. <laughs> and we we named everything we could think of. I can't even imagine there's any other names out there that are men, white men names. Now, Susan, white boy's names aren't simple because you've know, got the Polish and the Finnet and the fence. No, it's no, I'm talking about Saxon. Saxon. Not in Brady Bunch. I'm talking about so those Brady Boy um, white. So was leaves. it Barry, Mike? Okay, answers, answers. Number one. Don't have to have them in order, but I went in age order sort of here. All right. Robert Reed as Mike Brady. So you get a point for either of those. And uh, I have asterisks for people who are no longer with us, so they don't have to worry about that I'm mentioning their names. But the other people I'm a little worried about. Uh, num number two, Florence Henderson as Carol Brady. Mm -hmm. And I saw somebody get half of this right, but nope, they're wrong because she's not a Brady. Ann B. Davis is Alice Nelson. Yeah, she wouldn't have been a Brady. Ooh. That'd be silly. I thought somebody wrote Alice Brady. Uh, Maureen, we McCarty. have to have the last name too. They only called her Alice most of the time. As Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yes, full name. I'm not asking you to spell it, but. Maureen McCormick. And only Jamie Marcia has Brady. to spell it correctly. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> and he did. 
Uh, Eve <laughs> Plum as Jan Brady. Oh, Eve Plum. Eve Plum, yeah. Susan Olson as Cindy. Susan, that's Cindy. right. Oh my gosh, the name's okay. Ringing the bell now. And Barry Williams as Greg, who Greg. is currently on Dancing with the Stars. We and got it! Ta da! Kyle got it. And Bill says, told me he flipped the channels and it just happened to uh, come on exactly when he was being announced, which is really weird. Next is Christopher Knight as Peter Brady. Oh, you're right, Kyle. You're you're a Brady fan. I didn't realize that. Peter and lastly, a very weird last name, Mike Lickenland as Bobby Brady. His name was Bobby. Why is that Bobby? We said it. It just didn't sound right. Bob Brady. Well, we kept saying Bob, and we rejected oh, that. I yeah, think I would Bobby. agree Bobby. We finally, we finally ended up putting Paul. Can I find Mike? Is he in the ocean? No, look inland. What? <laughs> look inland. <laughs> I don't get it. He's not on the coast. Look inland. <laughs> I saw. I, I went to the Brady Bunch Wikipedia page to find these, and I actually thought that was vandalism. I go, that can't be a real name, so I click on. No, that's the guy's real <laughs> name. Lookin Land. Lookin Land. Okay. So how'd you that's do? Pretty bad. How Sounds like do? a Scandinavian country, frankly. Okay, so before we get to scores, I need to make sure I fill up next week. That I need two more people. Who is it? Who has not done a category in a while? Who would love to do a category? Well, Susan, you know I'm always ready if nobody okay. else can Gail, do it. Gail, I need one more. Okay, Susan. Oh, yes. Okay, Bill. Boom. Good job. Thank you. No pressure or anything. You just wanted to get to the scores. I know. I know how this works. <laughs> I know how this works. Okay, let's see how we did. So the team that I was on, Musk Tower, how do we do? And we come from behind and win this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only if we get well, four we got points. The nine. We, got, we got nine. Yeah. That's, that's nice. respectable. All right. I want you to know I was on that team thinking just 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 Yeah, wait. you knew a lot of them too. Yeah, well. well real I all knew is. his. Um, let's go with uh there's no term like a president. Uh it's not a second one. Um, wow. They, they knew their Brady Bunches. Okay, no smoke, no gun, just a backfire. Baumgar. Six. Damn. You got, you, wow. Hey, <laughs> oh, frontal nerdity. Nine. Can we start right. now. Respectable score. All right. Can they pull it off? Not enough. Enough. Embarrassed Canadians and Golden Commode. Ten. Yeah, look at that. 46, the max you can get is 50. Look at that. 10, 10, 10. Mm. Oh, wait. The only time you didn't get a 10 was when I was on the team. <laughs> um, no, it's our ringer was the one actually giving the quiz. That's true. The no, quiz, that, is true. So. that is true. If Adrian had been there, I'm sure we would have gotten <laughs> Wow. Darn. And I listened to that episode on Skeptic Zone. I'm I'm embarrassed. Okay. We did all right. <laughs> all right. Well done, team. Well done, teams. Well done. So I will see you back at the same place, same time, same bat channel next Thursday. And we have Gail, Rob, Romero, Bill, and Carl. And then the following week, we have Jamie. And that's it. So I'll start pressuring you again. You guys start writing some categories. Don't make me have the pressure each week. Come on now. <laughs> You should have a backup category and another one, right? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're not thinking of these things all the time. Hold on. We're not thinking of them all the time. Well, okay. There's times you're not thinking of categories, but I know there's a lot of the time you guys are thinking about it. So get on it. Cause and don't forget, we're getting we're getting really close to being psychon time. So I will see you guys next week. Bye, Bye. everybody. Thank you for joining Bye. us. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye.